Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the Coffee and VR show. We got a bunch of stuff lined up today. We finally made it to the release of the Quest and the Rift S. Hopefully my audio is coming through though. I'm not getting the uh, bar, so uh, let us know how our audio is coming through. We're having some connection issues this morning, so hopefully we get it all worked out. But uh, So today we're going to talk about the new headsets. The Quest and the Rift S finally dropped. We're gonna, we got some game codes to give away going to talk about some of the mods for uh, Quest and Rift S, talk about some Mamut Grips, and just enjoy some really good coffee. Yeah, we were having some connection issues this morning, which surprises me because you have like 500 meg or 300 upload or some ridiculous connection. I don't know. Something crazy, but yeah, but yeah I don't know why we're having connection issues, um, but if we are, let us know in the chat. Uh, we could try to address it if our volumes are, you know, we're cutting out, buffering, stuff like that. Just hit us up. Let us know. Yep. So they said our sound's coming through okay. So that's good. On, on our end, the mixer, the levels aren't moving at all. So I did, I couldn't tell. So luckily, uh, we're coming through all right. But Yeah, that's awesome. So, so the, I'm going to get right into it, man. I love it. my new headsets. Like, I'm what, what'd you get? excited about them. So I did get the Quest and I did get the Rift S. So the Rift S was kind of a last minute decision for me. Um, and I think I talked about it a little bit last week, but I am super happy with the purchase. The visuals on it look amazing. I still have yet to play Elite Dangerous. I do want to check out Elite um, just because the blacks and the contrast and stuff. I'm really excited for that. But everything else I have played, there's base, not no screen door effect. I mean, you can't say that. But it's improved. It's, improved it's unnoticeable for, sure. for me. I mean, at least coming from a rift, I, I don't even notice it anymore. Yeah. So that's that's everything to me, truthfully. Right. So mine mine was also a last minute decision on the Rift S. I didn't re pre order the Rift S at all. I kind of last minute decision. I got my email that said that the Quest was ready to pick up. That was Tuesday morning. So I went to Best Buy and I was like, well, I'm just gonna pick up a Rift S too. So I was paying for my thing at the desk and I was like, do you guys have any more Rift S in stock too? I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one of those. And she was like, no, we sold out of those. And I was like, what? So like. I, I looked on, like, I paid for my stuff, and I was leaving. I looked on the website, and it said that the store that I was at, at Best Buy, still had three left. So I was like, oh, well, maybe she just didn't know. So I went back in, and I asked him. I said, I just want to pick one of these up. I went to the case, and in the case, there was no Rift S, but there was, like, five or six quests in there still. So I asked him, the, you know, told him I just want to get one of these. He's like, oh, yeah, let me go in the back and get one. So he went in the back. He was back there for a little while, and he came back out and said, we don't have any more. He said the inventory on the website hasn't updated yet, but they're sold out. I was like, oh man, I was like, yeah. no way. Like, I totally expected the quest to sell out quicker than the Rift so S. So did I. But Absolutely. we don't know yeah. the inventory though either. Like, they might have gotten a whole lot more quests in stores than they did the Rift S because they might have sure. thought the same thing. Sure. So, luckily though, I got online and there was another Best Buy like 20 minutes away and they showed that they had one more on the website. So, what I did is like, I'm just going to order it on the website. That way, Hopefully if it, yeah. somebody else goes in there, but I didn't know if their inventory was messed up too. So I was like, I might get there and they might say, sorry, we don't have it. So, but I got there and before I got there, I got the confirmation email saying my order was ready to pick up. So I was like, okay, good. I think I'm all right. So, so I got there and I got the Rift S and yeah, so I, I lucked out. Yeah. So with, with mine and I know I kind of expressed it on our discord and stuff and maybe you, some of you guys saw it there. Oh yeah. Um, I actually... So what I did is the the night before, my father's actually in the hospital and he's getting released today. So all that's good, um, which I did. I haven't even talked to Sean about that. I just found out that, yeah. too, uh, which is awesome. But I left there real late right before they closed on Monday night. It would have been the <laughs> night before release. And I'm like, it shows no inventory. I was there, I think, two days before there was nothing in the cases. So I'm like, what are the chances that they have it sitting there? You know, so. I went in and I went up to, to pick up for orders because I had mine for a pre-order. So go up and like, hey, I'm here to pick up my order, but it says it's not ready until tomorrow. And it was like a younger kid, you know, and he's like, oh, well, let me see if they pulled it already. So he goes in the back and he comes walking out with a rip that <laughs> and you're like, and like ah. literally throws it on the <laughs> counter, like right in front of me. And I'm like, this is happening. Like, I'm definitely getting it the night before. So he's like bringing it up on the computer and stuff. He's like, oh, that's cool. You know, at least you get it, you know, before tomorrow when it said it was ready. And he can't get past on the computer. So he's like, hey, where's Mitch or whatever, the manager? And the guy beside him's like, why? What do you need? You know? And he's like, well, I, I got to get past his screen. He's here to pick up his order, but it's early. 
and he's like he looks over at it. he's like you can't sell that idiot <sighs> like that says you can't sell it because the release isn't even up yet he's like oh i thought it was just the release for the package you know so i'm like i was so close to this it close. he's like i'm this sorry close. man i can't sell it to you <laughs> like really oh like, uh, uh, no i've heard a lot of stories about people uh ordering from best buy in different places and they still haven't got them yet like i mean the, the shipments got messed up they went to the wrong places and i saw that penji is in chat and i did a uh, comment on her music video i asked her if she got the headset because i was curious you know what she thought of it and at that point in time i think it might have been maybe wednesday and she right. hadn't got your hers yet hadn't showed up so she's in chat i'm curious to see oh, if man. she did get it hopefully she got it and just her just you know her thoughts on it i'm curious to see that did she get it for free because they should have given you one (laughs) yeah for sure they definitely should have crazy so yeah yeah i'm just uh, i was i thought i had it i really did and we pulled some stuff before but i think you know they're cracking down now the computer system the computer systems have gotten better makes it a lot harder for that stuff to get out early but yeah but people from what walmart were getting yeah some of the shipments i think right rift s too some people got rift Rift s S early too yeah but i don't know about i'm pretty sure you could use rift s but i don't think the quest you could fully use but maybe the night before because i did see like the day before you could select quest on the app and stuff like that but right I don't yep. know how all that went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. T Dub said, Tyler, you should have grabbed it and run. <laughs> I know. Trust <laughs> you me. I was like looking at it. I yeah. was, and I was trying to like play it cool too. I mean, it's paid so for. I mean, it's not I stealing. I mean, you paid well, for it already. I was trying to send Sean a picture because like he yeah. set it down. He went to the back to like he's like, I gotta check something. Hold on. So I'm like trying to get my phone out to like snap a picture, you know, real quick. But I didn't want to <laughs> act like obvious that I was trying to do something. Right. So I'm like slipped it back in because he was coming. And I'm like, eh, just yeah, I didn't want to make it look like anything was no. actually going on, but still didn't happen. Uh, so she said she got it Thursday, and she said she's hooked, which is awesome. Oh, I love yeah. to hear that. It is. So. so I actually was using mine. I didn't even talk to you about this yet, but I actually took mine to show my dad in the hospital last night. Oh, really? And I set up the uh, boundaries awesome. and stuff in the hospital room, like around the bed and like out the door into the hall and stuff. So it was pretty was, was cool. He up? Was he up out of bed, or did he do it laying down? He, he sat. He sat he up sat, in the bed. Yeah. He really couldn't yeah, get up and stuff, but yeah. So what, was, what do you think? He was just – he said – I put him in the uh, – because I, he didn't really get the controllers and stuff when he's yeah. missing a finger and stuff. It's really hard for him to kind of operate the controllers a little bit. Um, so I put him in – I think it's called – it's not um, First Contact, but it's like First Act or something like it's that. The, yeah, it's, like the uh, introduction app kind of thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. And I just put him in the beginning of that. I hadn't even tried it, not knowing that it does do a controller like tutorial. Right. Uh, so he kind of just looked around and like wrote it out until it started that. And then I kind of took him out of it. And then I did throw him into bait because oh, yeah, it was sitting. I like that. Because I'm like, well, if he's sitting on the side of the bed, you know, he can just be sitting in the chair there. So he kind of got into that and was he was trying to throw the rod and stuff with the controller. But yeah, I was fearful he was going to throw the controller. Were you using and the straps? No. I didn't even have the strap. The straps aren't even. You didn't on have the- these on yet. No. Oh man, this would this would have made the difference. I have them on the Rift S. I don't uh, have yeah. Them on the I have. I oh yeah, that's what mine are on is on the Rift S as well. I haven't yeah. put them on Quest, but. And actually, I'm curious. I wonder if you can just transfer the controllers. How to reconnect. supposedly they like, worked. Yeah, I haven't tried that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I yeah, because used- really, you'd only have to use one set unless you're using both oh, okay. things at the same time. But. Yeah, I wonder. So. One thing I uh, do want to mention real quick before we get too started is that uh, definitely keep an eye on the chat and keep an eye on the screen. If you're just listening, because we are going to give some stuff away today and things are probably we're just going to randomly pop stuff up. So to try to make people get a fair chance of getting some stuff. So just keep an eye out. And also the, the Mamut grips. We did do a video on these. And uh, we did, so we have two sets of these to give away. These are on the newer controllers, but they fit the old ones as well. So what what we decided we're going to do is we did one uh, Gleam giveaway. So basically we're going to run that for a week. We're going to run that until Friday. So we're trying that, to be super fair for you guys because yeah. we know it's hard for some of you guys like with chat and stuff. We totally get all that. Right. So go ahead and sign up on there and you don't have to do anything. To, you don't have to subscribe or do anything else. Obviously, we appreciate subscribers for sure, but you don't have to. You just you can log in with, uh, I think, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You just log in. I think you can do all four to get multiple entries if yeah, I'm correct. I can- I can actually look. It's, yeah, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We didn't do emails. We're not yeah. trying to do any of that. So, and, and basically the way it's going to work is once we do, I think what we're going to do is next episode for next weekend, we're going to go ahead and draw the winner live on the show. And then that person has 24 hours to respond to the email. So we'll we'll get their contact info and we'll send them an email. 
And yep. then they have 24 hours. If they don't respond in 24 hours, we're going to pick another winner. So make sure you watch your email. I don't know if it's going to go to a, a junk folder or anything. So watch those. We'll just redraw too from the same entries. Right, right, right. So, and we're also going to give one away on Discord. So if you haven't joined our Discord yet, go ahead and join that. I think we have we'll, a lot of fun on our Discord. I feel like. Yeah, I think uh, I think what we're going to try to do is uh, t- this is Tyler's idea is try to do like a trivia thing. So basically, we're going to, I think we're going to do maybe like three questions, and it'll probably be stuff that we talked about on previous shows and stuff like that, so you might want to go back and watch those, but I think we're going to do three questions, and the first person to get all three questions right is going to be the winner, and then we're going to go ahead and get their, we'll probably PM them on Discord, get send them a private message, get their info to ship it out to them, so. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We were kind of throwing back and forth, like, what questions to ask and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you guys can give us comments and stuff, I mean, if, if you really have any good ideas. Yeah. Uh, but. We were thinking, I mean, we'll just throw one out there. We're thinking about using this one, but like, like what's my personal first VR headset? So, and we did talk about know, that. I don't know what episode, we have. but we uh, have we talked, talked about it actually I think a couple think times. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, people who've watched and stuff and check out our old stuff, yeah. you, you'll probably know that. Yeah. So, and Paradise Decay. To give it to people who've been around. So. Paradise Decay just put out a video about his, uh, his merchandise and he had uh, a clip from our show where we were talking about his mugs. So check that out. I thought that was pretty cool, but I know. So I had to rock the Paradise Decay Cup today. I don't know if he's in here yet or not. I haven't seen him yet, I don't think. But And somebody also asked Benji, where's the Rift S song? Right, so, so I we know. Need, we need some more songs. I love that. Uh, I still love the song. And maybe we'll maybe we'll play it again today if we get a I know. We still have it, right? Probably. Loaded in, I would say. Oh, yeah, it's still so, in there. I'm not getting rid of that. Oh, I love that song. I need it as like a ringtone. If I can set that up as a ringtone, that'd be right? awesome. <laughs> but then I would never want to answer my phone because I just want to let it keep playing. I have done that before. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a really good song, but so do you want to get into our thoughts on the, the Rift S and the Quest a little bit? I haven't, I, I think I've spent so far, I've spent more time in my Quest than I have my Rift S and I love both of them, but there's definitely things that I love about both of them. And there's things that I don't love about both of them. I, I don't think know if... I've probably spent probably the same amount of time in both. I'd say. Yeah. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time this week. I'm looking forward to uh, next week should be a little bit more relaxed and get some more time. But this week's been really busy with work and some other things, but yeah i I, yeah i don't know which one they're different they're both just totally different to me they serve different purposes so i'm I'm glad i want the decision of both headsets you know initially i thought you know why would i buy one they're almost the same they're really not like to me they're not um just because i can run a lot higher fidelity stuff on the rift s right for sure i mean that's my go-to if we get on and want to play stuff testing new games you know we're always running new dev games and stuff so I'm not going to, you know, obviously they're not porting it to the Quest right away, a lot of those guys. Right. The stuff, so, I mean, yeah. we have to have something for that. But, I, yeah, the Quest is awesome, though. Yeah. I love it. I was really impressed with the Quest. Like, I didn't really know what to expect because we've played PC VR for so long. So I was excited about the portability. You know, I had some concerns about a Snapdragon 835, and I'm like, you right. know, I don't know what they're going to be able to achieve on this. But, honestly, I, I'm so far, I'm really impressed. Like, I mean, the visuals yeah. are really good. I did the Vader Immortal game oh, man. i thought That's that was great. really good like i thought they did a really good job on that especially for a mobile i know headset i mean there was time like i mean when i'm in there i wasn't really thinking like oh man this is just mobile this would look a lot better nope. on the pc which i'm sure it is gonna look better on the pc but sure well but i was impressed like i mean i thoroughly enjoyed that and yeah. i can't wait for the next episode like i thought that was really good and for 10 bucks you know it's not like a huge long experience but i can't right. even get a movie ticket nowadays for 10 bucks you know what i well, mean like that- I told somebody about it and I said, it feels like, I don't know if, like if any of you guys are, have been to like an amusement park. Like I know, for example, I've been to like Universal Studios and Disney right. and stuff like that. And I know, I think it's a Universal. They have a back to the future ride where you're in the car and you feel like you're flying around. I said the Vader Immortal to me feels like this is a Disney like experience, like ride, like you would have at Disney, like top notch grade a experience. And I, it's super immersive the stuff they're doing with it it's like story driven but yet it's a game i think that's awesome the lightsaber was really cool like when i first got the lightsaber and i and anthony on vr 365 was talking about this before i played it a little bit and he was talking about the lightsaber and he said you know he would just push the button and watch you know the sound and everything and it was really cool like i was really my favorite thing and i thought it wasn't going to do it just because it was on the quest was i took the lightsaber and i went down to the ground because on all the movies you know it kind of penetrates the ground oh, yeah. it as it goes through and when i went into the ground mm-hmm. it burned it and made a burn mark and i'm like i know oh, I, man, I was drawing stuff <laughs> I, was, I know i was drawing That's stuff so in cool. the floor and all kinds of stuff so it was really cool the only complaint that i have of the quest and i'm gonna 
do some things to try to remedy this is the comfort for me. Like I'm so used to P- to the the Rift CB1 and PCVR, and it's so light. And right. the quest is so front heavy. And I've tried everything. Like everybody's right. talking about how you take the back strap and you lower it down to the back of the, your yeah. head as much as you can. I've tried all of that. I've tried that too. And I just can't, uh-huh. I can't last real long and it. it gives me a headache, like the way it pushes on my face and stuff. But I do have a VR cover on order, which I know that's going to help. And VR cover is like a must. I mean, they're, they're just so much more comfortable than the fact. Yeah. And I don't, I don't like right. the, the facial interface that much on that because it's kind of a little bit more scratchy. Like the Rift S one is, is more comfortable on your face. Yeah, and you're right. So that is on order. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. There's also that uh, studio form thing that kind of goes over the top of the thing that's supposed right. to distribute the weight a little bit better. Those are sold out. Yeah. But I've thought about uh, trying to make one, trying to make something on my own like that. And the other thing I've been thinking about is a counterbalance. And we do have some pictures of a lot of the mod stuff that the community has been doing. Go ahead and, throw them up. Yeah, okay. about. and so I was thinking for a counterbalance, um, it yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible. Um, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, some people in here, like you see the pictures, they're putting the battery banks on the back, like here. Right, and right. And people right. saying that helps a lot because then it doesn't pull like the weight sure. on the front of your face so much. It kind of balances it out. And this is another thing I thought about was the uh, deluxe audio strap for the HTC uh, no. Vive. Yeah, I've thought about that. Yeah, but is has anybody done that yet? The deluxe audio. Yeah, strap? there's a picture of it in here. Okay. Which on the picture it was a little weird because I think he still had the other head strap on too. Right. But I don't know how it would work. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. So Conquer Reality said the over the head strap that Cass and Sherry have helps. Yeah. That's that. That's that. Uh, yeah, studio yeah. form one. The one that was the PSVR one originally or whatever. Yeah, but now they have them for the Quest. I think they have them for like everything, but the Quest one is sold out, which is a bummer. Yeah. I was gonna order that. I think it's like twenty bucks or something like that. Yeah. I mean, for that, it's probably not worth the time even screwing with. Yeah, that's true for 20 yeah, bucks. Yeah, I mean... So there's yeah, the there's Deluxe the, Audio Strap. Oh, they just have it, like, velcro Yeah, but you can stuff. take the old one completely off. I don't know how... I don't think it's super difficult, but I think the side straps are a little bit weird. But yeah. that... I mean, then you would have the built-in audio, and you have, hopefully, a better weight distribution and stuff. And you can get them on Amazon for, like, 99 bucks. And I think... I saw something on... Uh, ebay i think the microsoft store has them on ebay for like 70 some bucks so you might want to check that out if you're interested in it yeah that's cool um the other thing is you know people are going to make these they're going to make straps they're going to make third party accessories. i'm sure there's going to be a whole new heads kind of like the deluxe audio strap there'll probably be something and i just don't know how long it's going to take like the bad thing is is i want all this on my quest right now because i I want to i want to spend more time in it and it's just not as comfortable I know that's what frustrated you with like the uh, the Rift S because you know I had the Bionic Mantis headphones right um, and I bought those a long time ago and I should have basically <laughs> knowing that they were gonna work for it I've had them yeah. for what months now uh-huh. two, two months probably I don't know however long that video is I made and they work great they really do I mean they're not uh, they're basically I mean they fit really good some people say you can't adjust them and slide them up as far. Um, the only thing is I see what can happen is so here I can actually grab it and show you guys too. But the the guide for the cable that's on the left side of the Rift S is I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, is right yeah. in front of the headphones here. Here, I switched to this real quick so it's bigger uh so oh, you sure. can see you bigger. So it's actually yeah, it's gonna be really hard to see here, but there's and a guide right your there. mic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a yeah. guide that kind of stops them from going forward. That's and the guide you... for the cable, correct? Correct. Okay, and then yeah. when you go to tighten the headset up, it stops right here mm-hmm. where it hits. I got so you. if if you remove the cable guide and went over top of this, it would probably be no problem. I left mine for now just to see. I don't, I don't really see it being an issue, but yeah, it still yeah. fits me great. I mean, tightened all the way up. But I mean, it's a clean look to it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it really is. And, and they you, work good. You said they sound nice. really good, too, right? Yeah, now they're not like super. I mean, they're not as good of bass, I will say, as the original Rift headphones. But I mean, it's for what it is for the thirty. Right. They were down to thirty-four bucks. I think they went up. Yeah, but. they went back up. I did see them. Yeah. So Fry's Electronics has them on sale for around that price. Okay. I haven't ordered them yet. I I'm, I don't know. I'm just I don't know what I want to do yet. You know what I mean? I I know, I know. somebody's gonna come out with something. And I just don't know how long it's gonna take before we get there. 
Yeah. But I've been debating. I'm gonna switch back to this so we can see these pictures a little bit more. Talk about them. But I've been debating just going ahead and order them. And they have them on Walmart too. And I was trying to get Walmart to price match fries, sure. so that way I could get them quicker because they would right, ship right. faster. But they wouldn't price match fries electronics. I'm not sure why. But I really like <laughs> this one. This picture there that was up. Those yeah. are the. I can't remember what. Those are your. Those are ours. Those are yours. The what? grips. The grips. Oh, oh! I was talking about the Cost Porta Pro. So there's the Cost uh, Porta Pro. Yeah over your headphones and those always get really good reviews people say they sound really good and it looks like they fit the the head strap really good like with some zip ties or whatever right. so that, i've been thinking about getting those i think they're like 30 some bucks i don't have really an issue though with my over ear headphones i have some really good like studio headphones yeah uh, i really don't have issues with them you said you didn't have really good luck with over ear no see all my stuff would hit the band and stuff and it wouldn't fit over my ears like these ones here they were too big i got a smaller pair and neither one of them really worked really well and i want to get rid of the the uh two-step process i don't want to sure. have to put them on and somebody did mention and i think in reddit that with the pass-through cameras it does make it a lot easier to put on the headphones after the oh, fact sure which yeah, i didn't think about pick- that so that does right. help but except you still have to go in and select pass through in the setting. I mean, it's still another step, you know? Yeah. But still. Yeah. Somebody in chat was asking if they work for the quest, you know, I thought I tried them on there, but I don't think I have. Cause I had the rift S first and I threw them on. Oh I yeah. I actually the... did try them. Yeah, yeah. You should try that. Maybe do something with that. Cause that, that would be cool. You could order two sets and have one Wait. for each. Cause the audio, like the audio is, not bad depending on what you're doing the built-in audio works pretty well for some things the main thing i did like right like the quest around and stuff like i don't really need. yeah so quest Quest even vader immortal like i thought the the audio was pretty decent the main thing that i did is i went into contractors in the rift s because i wanted to see what it looked like and i went in and i started shooting the gun and i was like oh man this doesn't cut it like you know what i mean with the no bass and there's just like it just it wasn't the same experience so for contractors i was like i have to have headphones for that it's just not the same to me without it and and we talked about the quest a little bit but with the rift s some of the issues that i have is that i have a very small ipd and david smith just subscribed so that's awesome thanks for subscribing yeah that's awesome man we appreciate uh, every sub we really do for real it means a lot to us you don't know how excited we get we text (laughs) back and forth like hey we got another sub yeah we do get excited we're like little kids but we really we really do like hanging out with you guys it is fun so so my only issue with the rift s is that i have a very small ipd like i'm pretty sure it's less than 55 and I, I, I put the software IPD as low as it could go. I didn't really see any difference in the software IP. It did, I didn't notice a big difference. But So for me, it seems like if I'm looking dead straight with my eyes straight forward, the center can be just like a little bit blurry. But if I turn my head just a little bit with my eyes looking forward still, it clears up. So I'm guessing that is right. probably the fact that there's no mechanical IPD slider. And I haven't spent a lot of time in Rift S yet. So I do want to get in there and play contractors for an hour or two and see how that goes. I mean, I didn't have any issues like playing and everything still seemed clear and it wasn't much of a fuzziness you know i mean it was just you could if you were really looking for it you could tell a little bit so that's my only gripe i do really wish they would have put built-in audio and the mechanical ipd slider that's yeah the, um I, I don't have any problems just because yeah. my pd is right around like 64 65 so yeah. I, I mean it's always within range um the only issue that i and i don't have a small head which really on the rift s it's kind of crazy to me because I have a larger head. I mean, not large. I, I'd say average size. Yeah. Um, I oh, wear like a Aaron medium. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Aaron. That's awesome. So, now we're gonna get so you have a, you have a, you're telling us you have a large head, basically. Well, a medium head. Yeah, just medium large. About yeah. there. Right? I have so, a small head. Small head, small <laughs> IPD. S, I feel like I'm tightening it down pretty far. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I get it. If you have a smaller head, I mean, it could be an issue a little bit. But it is comfortable. I mean, that it headset is. is extremely comfortable. Way comfortable. Way yeah. different than the... I mean, it's just night and day different. Yeah, I wish they would have done that head strap on the on the Quest, something like that. That would have been awesome, I think. I know the price point, you know, they're trying to keep Quest as, as cheap as possible, but hopefully we get right. some kind of third-party stuff that'll give us some comfort like the Rift S, because right now, I don't think I've worn a headset that's as comfortable as the Rift S. To me, I that's agree. like... I mean, it's... I feel like I can wear it all day. Yeah, it's super comfortable. And the visuals, the visuals are a very nice improvement, I think, over the CV1. Clarity, so text actually, clarity. I can pull the lenses in so far that I can almost see, like, 
the actual corners of the lenses, which is awesome because that means I'm getting the largest field of view that I possibly can, which is great. Yeah, well, they have that button where you can slide it in. That's and out what I mean. Bit. And the, when I, the when face. I force it in all the way, you can actually start to see the corners of the yeah, screen. Yeah, I did which see that. You're when optimizing I it 100% of those screens. Which yeah, is cool. and that face, uh, the foam on that is pretty thick. So VR cover is working yeah. on. Uh, some stuff for that a, a new yeah. facial interface so i don't know when that's going to be out yet i did i did order the quest one but i don't know about the rift right. s yet but i think that'll probably help too yeah we'll have some stuff up on those in a couple days i'd say yeah as soon as we get some stuff in hopefully but but make sure i don't know if you uh, did we talk about this already make sure you sign up for the mamut grip giveaway and the gleam anybody just joining that should be in the link in the description it's also on our oh, discord yeah. so sign up for that we will announce it next week when it comes out yeah we got so. some, <laughs> yeah we do have some giveaways definitely yeah that's for sure. We love doing giveaways. We try to do as much as we as much as we can. So yeah, that's for sure. So talking about quests, let's. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this trailer now. You actually just saw it. So this is yeah. covert ops for the. Yeah. This is actually quest footage, I and uh, I think this is going to be on Rift S as well. But this actually looks really good for quest. I mean, I feel like this could be a pretty fun game to play. I am looking yeah, forward to this one. It looks like it all takes place in this kayak. But I'm sure you're using your arms to actually paddle the the Let's kayak see, through the water. I think that's pretty cool because this could essentially be a seated game that yeah. has like the full realm of like moving through stuff and give you everything without having to get up. You right. Know, that's that's awesome. And for people with any kind of motion sickness, so they're first getting into VR, this should help. Disabilities, man. If you're in a wheelchair or something, yeah. I could have thrown my dad in this. Yeah, in that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, he could have sat awesome. right there. Yeah, so I'm looking pretty forward to this. I think this would be pretty cool. And I look forward to all the new stuff. Like, we, we know we got, with Quest, we got a lot of ports. Like, we got a lot of stuff that a lot of us have already played. And a couple new things, you know, Vader, Immortal, and Sports Scramble, and some other stuff. But but I'm looking forward to seeing what all of these people have been working on behind the scenes that we haven't found out about yet, you know, that we haven't heard about. And this is one of them. Like, I hadn't heard about this before. I mean, I think this trailer's been out, like, maybe a week now or so. Yeah. But I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. I think it looks great. Just, yeah. yeah, a lot of interaction and on the quest. I mean, the stuff that guys are getting to the quest now, they're gonna, you're gonna see some really cool stuff. I'd say, right, coming really soon. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm excited about. I mean, any new game is super cool. Stupid zombies. Stupid, Stupid zombies. zombies just subscribe. <laughs> fantastic. Some some people's names, man. They cut. They come up I with know, on it's here. Awesome. It is. Gonna, it's awesome. So for anybody paying attention right now. Stupid zombie, that's what you get, man. <laughs> Whoever gets it first. This is Standout. So this is for Standout on the Oculus Store. So, like I said, make sure you have your Steam stuff opened up, your Oculus stuff opened up. So anytime something pops up, you can enter it in real quick. But this is for the Oculus Store. This is Standout. So this is the Battle Royale game that yep. we both put a lot of time into. And we've played. Make sure you join our Discord. We are going to jump in this game. Yeah. We really want to play this. I want to mm -hmm. see this in the Rift S so bad. Yeah, me now. too. We, pl we have hundreds of hours in the original Rift. I mean, it's yeah. going to be night and day so difference. So if somebody did get that, go ahead and put it in chat so let us know. Did you yeah. uh, play anything in the Rift S with your gun stock? Have you messed with that at all yet? Um, so for me, my controllers actually don't fit in my gun stock. Yeah, uh, I have that same issue. <laughs> so that, that's an issue um, because for me, like shooters, I want a gun stock. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just the realism's just there. So that's right. my go-to. Yep, so I'm having I'm having the same issues. The they fit. I, I use the the Pro Tube for Mag Tube, and you have to have the controllers fit in there good because you're pulling the whole cup off. Basically, the cup stays on the controller, and then it's magnetic to go back on. And my issue was that they weren't. I could force them down in there, and they would go in, but they just they wouldn't, wouldn't stay, stay put really off. well. Yeah. So a lot of times I would go to pull it off to reload, and the the controller would start to come out, and then you're kind of fumbling around. So I do need to look into that a little bit and see what's going to go on for that. Uh, Mammoth is making some gun stocks too, and uh, we're hopefully going to look into some of their stuff. And their stuff's a little bit different, I believe, because I believe that it actually is going to attach to the the ring and then have a magnetic, so the cup doesn't right. have to fit, the I believe. So. Yeah. Yep, you're right. So we are going to get into that a little bit at Which some point. I think is good. I, I kind of like the idea of that, just because the grips on the bottom, to me, kind of break out i don't know you always feel them you always know they're there because it's always something extra now you know like the mammoth grips that we have they uh they feel great they feel natural the thin rubber ones that we have with the straps yeah but then when you have here. the cups for a stock you could probably throw that coat away probably yeah there yeah, you go somebody did get it somebody did yep. get it yep so i think that was uh vr spry guy so vr spry guy got that 
So yeah, yeah, but these are actually, I mean, we did a video on these, but these, you just pull these straps like this tight and it just stays on there. So almost like the Quest or, I mean, uh, the Index, Index or the Knuckles basically. And it yep. works really well. I mean, it's pretty, it stays on there pretty good. And also for yep. people with larger hands, like I don't have huge hands, but it does extend the length of the controller. And you have like these grooves where your fingers go. So you do get a little bit more length. And there was also a lot of people complaining about Beat Saber because when they were playing Beat Saber, they were going crazy and the battery covers were sliding off. Right. Well, this this is going to completely solve that issue. The battery covers yeah. will not slide off anymore. And when your hands, if your hands are sweaty, the, the little nubs on it and stuff. Yeah, so they are super textured. There's a lot of texture on there. So it is a lot easier to hold on to. I do really like it. And them. I took my wrist strap off, but there you don't have to. The only reason I took it off is because it was I didn't feel like getting something to try to feed it through the hole. But you can feed the wrist strap through the hole, and you can use that as well. So you can put right. the wrist strap on and have it wrapped around your hand for anybody right. new user. So if something will happen and it does come off, it's still not going to go flying. But, right. I mean, they hold it pretty good. I think they... The other thing, you know, everyone was saying, you know, what about the, uh, the battery door? But right. you realize you can just loosen those straps till they almost pull out of the bottom, then loosen at the top, and then pull the grip yeah. off. Yeah. And we also, don't I, don't, I don't remember if I put the pictures in here, but we did, if you go to our Discord under general, I think somebody yeah. posted, they use, so instead of wrapping the strap around the ring, they put a twist tie. So they attach this and then a twist tie around the ring. So they can just untwist it real quick, pull the battery cover off to replace it, twist it back on. So check out those pictures in our Discord. I think I forgot to load them in here. I was trying to load a bunch of stuff this morning. Oh, but we but got a lot of people on our Discord now. Yeah. So it's growing a little bit. We have a lot of fun on there. So yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. We oh do speaking of do we have any mugs did we pull oh our yeah pictures in of the yeah, mugs? yeah 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 awesome. I got mugs so this is all from this past week so these are everyone's coffee mugs and setups and stuff like that um, you know joining us you know drinking coffee or after the fact yep. you know if you're catching us on Monday or Tuesday Wednesday whatever yep. um, throw your picks up your coffee mugs or your setups or whatever you're doing watching us on our discord and you know we'll try and get it on here yeah, we, uh, we just them. like seeing everybody's setups sure. and like like there you go two new headsets yeah you know? so this is some people put their their headsets and they ordered or, or got in on tuesday or this week and they loaded them on there so we put some of those in there too and it, it's under the section called mug shots which shout out to t-dub because he's yep. the one that came up with that name so this is little nutmeg he he said he didn't have any of the new stuff but he wanted to take part so he was posting a picture of his uh, cv1 box which was cool <laughs> So, awesome. and this guy was doing some homework, didn't rail. Like, he was I doing like some coffee. homework. Like yeah. That. So people do have some really cool coffee cups. Yeah. He, he's got the, the crash cups, the VR round table. That's fluke Rogi. I think he's that's cool. They were talking about all the old magazines and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. Discord, I never, all the old PC gaming mags and stuff. Yeah. Was, I never got into that, but it's super cool to see. Like it was cool I to see. I kind of did. did. I you? did get into those a little bit. I mean, back in the day, I mean, what was that? Windows 95 or whatever. Or, yeah. I don't, I don't even know. That goes way back, but yeah. I mean, like to me, like an old school, the biggest memory I have for like PC gaming and like multiplayer was Delta Force. And like, I don't know why, like to me, I thought everyone knew about it back in the day. And like everyone I talked to, nobody's heard of Delta Force, which I don't know why. It was like an online multiplayer. You could be a sniper and sit up on the hill and huh. stuff. I mean, basically what your modern like COD and stuff is like of today or like standout. It would have been almost exactly like standout. Right, right. Uh, but That's it awesome. was a great game. And I remember it was like instant messenger. There were like instant messenger chat rooms. And then you had to like log into the server and stuff. And we would <laughs> talk through instant messenger or I think it was instant. Yeah, it had to have been instant messenger. Yeah, probably. That no, was big was, back uh, in the day. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't. It was it wasn't instant messenger. I can't think what it was called. It was just like a little ch chat thing. Uh, I can't think of it. I somebody somebody will probably know. Throw yeah. it in the chat. Because it was that was great good times but it's kind of like the discord of like back then yeah but. so somebody asked uh work birdie gaming asked does anyone get lens fog and i i haven't so far yet in the rift s and oh. the quest i know with cv1 one of the big things like the worst i got lens fog is if i would get out of the shower Agreed. get ready to play the headset was cold my face was hot i'd pop it on the lenses would fog up but it does yep. go away for me at least it went away pretty quickly and i know a lot of other people if you put a fan like you can put a fan kind of on the ground that kind of blows up towards you maybe yep. a ceiling fan that stuff got, does usually help to clear that up but oh, I, I haven't I had a ton of fogging issues just to cut you short i think limbo there has the mouse that i wanted there's a new mouse i want because i'm still oh, rocking the these old school vr like this cyber power setup oh from our first pcs yeah exactly and yeah. it's a great keyboard that came with it so yeah. I have no reason to change it but he has i think it's like a a G504, I think, something like that. I, it, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but super good mouse. I'd love to hear from Who you. Who was that? Who was that? 
Uh, I think it was Limba. If you still see it in a couple. Okay. Yeah. But it had like a weighted wheel and jog wheel on it and everything. It was really huh. nice. See, I've never I gotten into thing. the like super fancy mice and that one right there. Right there. That okay. Right yeah. There. I think that's it. That's pretty yeah, sick looking keyboard too. I haven't gotten any, anything crazy because I don't really use the PC for a whole lot other than VR gaming. I mean, I do for the show and some video editing and stuff. So I guess sure. maybe that kind. But I don't play any flat games where. I would use a mouse and a keyboard at all. It just feels better. It's a weighted, you know, it's heavy. You can move the weights and stuff on it. Yeah. Heavy jog. It just feels solid. I just so like is that. So was it ICQ? Somebody yes. posted. Yes, yeah. that was it. So that was Flem. Uh, yeah, that, that was so Flem in, uh, in chat. That's who posted that. Good call, man. That's so. awesome. <laughs> That was, oh, it was so good too. Yeah. I knew I knew it wasn't in semester, but I knew it had like initials like that. I was trying to think yeah. of it. Yeah. That's so that's awesome. That was good times. <laughs> so <laughs> somebody at least has been gaming that long. <laughs> yeah, we're not the only... Uh, Hold Actually, on. you were never really into early PC gaming, though. No, I wasn't. In, in, well, I mean, like, when I was real young, I'm talking, like, back when you had the floppy disks and stuff, I would right. go to this store. I think it was, like, Fisher's Big Wheel or something, which hasn't been around in a long time. I think it was in Hartville, Ohio. Really? But uh, huh. we used to go there, and you could buy, like, games on the floppy disk for a couple bucks or whatever. But uh, that was the only really PC game. Other than that, it, for me, it was Nintendo, you know, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, which... I love the shirt right. you're rocking, by the way. Right? I know. Somebody was shirt. asking about, like, if it's coming to VR. And actually, uh, there is a little bit of 64 goodness on VR. I played it on, I think it was the CV1. Um, a guy made a, just like a, a ode to it, whatever, test map, where yeah. you could run through and be Super Mario. And you actually you know, break blocks, uh, Goombas and everything in it. Yeah. It was kind of cool. It has a little bit of the same music like style and everything. There is an emulator too. There's some emulators that you can run some old games right. and stuff like that too. And if you watch like I think it's itch.io, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people that do some custom yeah. stuff in there that you can load on to stuff that's pretty cool. But so yeah. I actually did get so today I'm rocking the French press. Look at this. So you have your little mug over there all the time? Oh yeah, yeah, I know. You were sending now, me a picture. Now I can refill as I go. I did post this on the Discord too. Trying so to get now fancy. Oh, dude, I've never used this before, actually. The wife got it for me, like, a long time ago, and I've never used it. Because we go to this place called Sunday Park. At, it's, like, a boathouse restaurant. It's kind of fancy. Oh, I've been there. Yeah, yeah and cool. they do, like, French press coffee, like, when you go there for brunch, and it's so good. So I was like, oh, that man, place. I want to get one of those French press. But, yeah, but definitely join the Discord and pop, pop your pictures and stuff on there because it's super fun for us to see, and we try to get them on the show, too. But Yeah, give you guys a little shout-out. So we're rambling quite a bit. we got a lot of stuff to get into all right, man. Yeah, let's get to it. So we talked about that. One thing I did want to mention that was really cool is that Rec Room is coming to iPhone and iPad, which yes. isn't huge for us, but I love the fact that they it can is, extend it's the branch huge, as though. long as they can. You know what I mean? Yeah, like exactly. get as many people into playing it and stuff. And I'm pretty sure you should be able to mix in. Can those people play with the people in VR? I'm pretty sure I they can, but I don't know. Yeah, sure. Like crossplay? I haven't yeah. heard that yet. Um, I hope so. I wouldn't see why not, I guess. They just maybe wouldn't. I mean, well, what are they doing actually? Speaking of, how are they handling that with the quest? Because the quest, you can't play everything. Are they keeping the quest people separate? No, I think it does have crossplay, I believe. But the quest doesn't have everything yet, so it does. It has That's like paintball so and it has some. But they're com They said it's coming, and right. I think one of the biggest challenges they're having is the uh, the battle royale. What is that called? What do they yeah, call yeah. it? I can't yeah, remember what they call it. Yeah. yeah, Rec Royale. So that yeah. they said it is supposedly coming, but that's one of the bigger ones that I think they're they're trying to work on. So eventually I think we're going to get a lot of that stuff. And I, I haven't went into Rec Room and Quest yet, actually. I just haven't had enough time yet. There's so much stuff that I want to play. I haven't either. So I am going to yeah. get into that. And I also I put my wife into it, and she actually really liked it. The only thing, right. she, she had some complaints about the comfort, too, and it kind of hurt in her face a little sure. bit, which I'm going to get that all taken care of, and we're going to you know talk about that in the Discord, anybody's ideas and stuff to, to remedy some of that. But she was really interested in some kind of like a puzzler-type game. So I, I was talking to Paradise yeah. Decay in one of, his, uh, one of his premieres, and he mentioned Moss, which I think she might like that. And I also really think she might like I Expect You to Die because yeah. – that's like a, you know, you don't have to move around a lot. It's a lot of interaction with stuff. And I think she might really like that. So I'm going to try to get her into some of that stuff and see if I can get her. I actually really enjoy that game. And I'm a good puzzle, I mean, guy. I really do like them. Yeah. And that does. That looks pretty cool. Have the you one tried I do Shadow? Get... Oh, that's probably what you're going to say. Shadow, yeah. What is it? Shadow, Shadow Point? Point? Yeah. Yeah, Shadow Point. Um, that looks really good. Uh, I, I'll probably pick that up. And on a day like I'm bored or home alone, right. need something to do, whatever, nasty out, I'll probably pick that up for sure. Yeah, there's just so much stuff. The problem is that I told everybody, like I've said some stuff in some comments, 
is that I've seriously spent so much money on hardware. Like, I got a Rift S, I got a Quest, I got the pre-order of the Index. I, I don't have any money left to buy all these games. Like, I literally want to buy every single game on here for the Quest, but, I, I mean, it's just so much money. And I did make another large purchase that was kind of more, like, I think we talked about it a little bit on here, and I've talked with you about it, but I really wanted to get a really, really good laptop because... Oh, yeah. With us doing this show, like we literally look forward to this show every week. Like we talk about it all week long. We're always excited about it. And you know, in the summertime, it's hard because you know we travel on the weekend sometimes. Yep. You know, we go different places. So I figured if I could get a really good laptop that'll do all the streaming stuff, we'll run VR. Then I can take it with me. I can do it from anywhere. If we go to the beach for yeah. a weekend, I will literally sit there with the ocean in the background and we'll do I a know. stream. You know what I mean? So I did order. It's a uh, CyberPower PC with an RTX twenty seventy. And, a, and an i7. So I'm really excited about that. It's still going to take a couple weeks before it gets you know, in. But. It's funny. Some people knock like cyber power. I think it's really great stuff. I mean, they just grab yeah. whatever's good at the time. And they can get it at a good price and throw it all together. Yeah. So, I mean, I got a pretty good price on it for what a 2070 costs. I mean, it yeah, was yeah, one of the, the lower prices. And I actually had a 10% off coupon, too. So that saved me some money. So I am really, really excited about that. And, I know. And it'll be able to, and it does. So one of the big issues with Rift S right now is that a lot of people don't have a display port on their laptop. And that's one of the, a lot of the issue that people are running into with the laptop and Rift S because you can't, right. I guess, none of the adapters for a uh, display port to HDMI work. So right. it came with a mini display port adapter. And I was looking last night because so I was like, man, I guess I never really checked that. So I got onto the website to double check and it does have a mini display port uh, yeah, so I'm super right. excited about that because with the Rift S, it's so nice. I don't have all these sensors. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I can take that on the go. So I mean, I'll take my Quest and stuff on vacations and stuff, but I can take that too just as easily, and I can plug it into the laptop and be good to go. You can play in the living room. Yeah. I mean, you don't yeah. have to be in your office. You can be wherever you want. You can go outside. Yeah. You can go with your man cave. You can go wherever. Did you, know? you see that Remarcus video of him uh, playing the Quest in the street and getting hit by a car? <laughs> no, obviously it was edited but it was really funny sure. it was really right. he did a good job it looked pretty convincing like so you guys can check that out i thought that was uh, that was pretty humorous but oh, that's funny. did you put anything in chat yet What's that? Been, have you put anything in chat yet i haven't been paying attention uh sure there you go i mean if, if that's what you're looking <laughs> for yeah awesome <laughs> um yeah, a meme fan while, while we're doing that. Um, I'm not even going to say, well, I guess we could say what it's for. Um, yeah. But meme, for, meme fan was saying about the... Meme fan? Meme fan? The, yeah, meme, meme fan, meme fan. Yeah, that's about Justin. The, uh, he's, actually, he's actually in the same state as me. He's only like two hours away from me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so, yeah he's in Northern Virginia, that. which is really cool. So maybe we'll that get is... together sometime. Or if he, he comes back to my area, too, I think he has family right, here. So. I got a better one for you. How about you get your laptop, get your headset, go to the beach, meet him there. We'll do a live stream from <laughs> We'll there. just be walking around the beach with our <laughs> Quest headset on. Like, I'll just read it. Like, all of, I did see a video that somebody posted. They were in like a restaurant bar like a bw3s or something and they're literally like standing there playing their quest in the middle of it and everybody's just kind of like what is this person doing but we're gonna see more of that stuff we're gonna see all kinds of that stuff i'm sure when, when we were in the hospital the nurse came in and like my dad had it on she was looking at him like what the heck like <laughs> i've never seen this scan machine in the hospital <laughs> right right is this a brain scan what are you doing I, here uh, yeah that's funny so if somebody didn't grab it in the chat is i don't even see it or atex oh wait you probably posted it on your your other thing nope. right did you do it in the rendered reality one no 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 i put it in chat yeah, i don't see it keep an eye for it if you don't it's coming you're just slow huh maybe but i don't see it yet but there should be somebody and that was for atex cybernetic correct yep it okay, was so that was an atex cybernetic code that is a steam code so that yep. is on steam that is steam if you try to inoculus that sucks <laughs> <laughs> yeah they uh yeah, I think the quest is cool just being able to take it. But yeah, yeah, your laptop being able to go anywhere, man. We could do a show from my place. Yeah, that's know? my plan. So yeah. we do have a plan to be back in Ohio, I think, uh, in June, end of June. So we will be back there. So me and Tyler will actually probably do our first episode in the same room. So we will. Sure. Bring, I'll bring the laptop because I can have everything that I have on this desktop all loaded in. I'm just going to probably always do it from the laptop now so it's ready to go. But I'll just bring it back there with us. We'll set up and we'll actually be in the same place for the for the first time ever for a show. So looking forward to that. I got some good ideas, too, but I'm not even going to put them out there yet. Oh, boy. I don't even know these ideas. Kinda you don't want to know. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> well, we should be able to do some cool stuff, too. And I did just get that yeah. uh, the, the Views XR, the VR 180 360 camera. We yeah. did put a couple videos out on that. I'm still trying to learn the ins and outs of it. But so far, I think it's working pretty good. And it was So I did a, a 180 video 
of setting up the Rift S for my first time and using it. And I did have another issue with the Rift S we'll talk about in a second. But uh, so I put that up there and then I watched it in the Quest. Like I watched it in VR, like 3D. And I was like, this feels so weird. Like I'm sitting, I'm watching myself. It's like I'm spying on myself. Somebody, I think maybe Greg's VR or somebody said that that it was like they were spying into my room. You know what I mean? right, right, so I'm right. like watching myself in 3D, and I was like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen before. Like, this is so strange, but I love the thing. Like, I really want to take the thing everywhere. Like, I know. It's really cool. I think that uh, hopefully with the Quest coming out, it does have YouTube VR, and the Go has the YouTube VR app. For, for whatever reason, the PC VR Oculus stuff does not have the YouTube VR app, which makes no sense to me. It but. doesn't. I know. Yeah, I don't get all that either. I don't get why they delay it or – copyrighted or i don't know if they uh, don't want to pay for it or i don't know i think i might know what you did somebody might be on to you what did you see t-dub's latest comment no is that what you did <laughs> is that what you did is it don't know what you're talking about that's funny that's awesome right there <laughs> gotta mix it up make it a little harder uh no so, you got to yeah for sure uh, so do you want to talk about uh so we talked about the the uh drop-in the drop-in v- game a while back yeah, yeah yeah for sure well they are working on it they've been working on two games now for a little while and the other one is called day to night and they're both looking really awesome and tyler went yeah. in so i haven't actually been into this yet tyler did go in for it just a little bit just right before this because we didn't have any yeah. footage of it so right I didn't cut the very beginning off enough of him so this setting it is up. essentially the, I'm gonna play it. I was running a little bit inside the the developer, which you'll see a little bit of the developer side here. Uh, but I did go into it. I did it right before we came on. You know, I haven't been around this week just because of stuff going on, yeah. and I did want to grab some game footage just to show you guys. But he's working on some really cool stuff in this too, and it's actually like a full day to night cycle for a zombie survival game and. They're, they've already got it even built in to where it's co-op. So, you know, you That's and I can awesome. go in together. Um, it's really cool. And it's, it's uh, uh, what do I want? It's where you find stuff. Why can't I? Why is uh, it? Scavenging and stuff. Yeah, scavenging. Yeah. Why. But it's all built into it. Cabinets that open, reload mechanisms in the game, climbing mechanics so you can actually climb. You ate some bread. Uh, yeah, exactly. You have, yeah, food, health, water, uh Let's see what else it kind of reminds me you actually have to take the cap off see that's really cool yeah right so the climbing mechanics remind me of like population one mm-hmm. if that makes any sense uh, which i know a lot of yeah, people yeah. haven't seen that yet but it's kind of what they're you know going towards too a little bit but awesome. you, and you all have to apologize right now just the display i had to grab was uh both eyes so I had to really trim this down to try and get it. That's yeah. why the eyes clip in. We did this like literally, it just finished the video like five minutes before we went on air. We were just trying to show some kind of footage of it because we didn't have anything yet. And there's really not a whole lot out there on total, this yet. Yeah, it's a total work in progress. Uh, really, really early. But even like the lighting and stuff. So like there, it doesn't look like much. But when the sun starts going down here shortly... Yeah. The lighting is crazy. Like it looks really cool at night, which yeah. is awesome. So I know you. So the developer of this, his name is Jason, and I don't know if he's in chat right now or not. But it, you, it's also Nighted Studios as well. Tim, okay, Nighted Studios, yeah. Nighted Studios, that's yeah. right. Uh, you've talked to him quite a bit. So, and I can't remember was this game farther along or was Drop In farther along? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know if you it, remember. So this game, I'd as a whole, is a lot farther along. Okay. Uh, they have a lot of like the server stuff already done. Um, all the mechanic stuff is done, uh, right now they're working on, and I know we have, I don't know. Did you have that other clip that I sent you? No, I think the hand mechanics. Oh yeah. He was showing like some combat of, uh, yeah. So for like punching and the physicality and stuff. So basically has like a, and it was in the developer. I could have probably done it in here as well. Uh, but a punching bag with like the impacts and everything. And I don't think, uh, I don't think it got cut out of this clip. But there was a clip, or I didn't send it to you, of, so I had the gun, there was a piece of meat, you know, what you eat for health and stuff, that was, or whatever it was used for, is laying on the table. And I had a pistol in my hand, and I picked the meat up, and when I picked the meat up, it shook. So I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. So I'm like dangling the meat, you know, and it's shaking. (laughs) And then I took the gun, and I tried it. I'm like, I knew it wouldn't work, but it did. And I took the gun, and I rolled it on the bottom of the meat and i was flicking the meat back and forth with the gun which was the coolest thing to do because it was just sounds horrible the way you're saying that just let you know but but anyways i got you i get it yeah (laughs) but it was super cool to see like that was awesome i love that but 
but yeah, it's yeah. it was just the the mechanics and stuff already built into this is awesome, and it's a super early build alpha. And oh, I that know was a Jason mask. Yeah, so there's yeah. hats, there's masks, there's backpacks. So like you put the backpack on, and what I like, you know, you have it because you can like just out of the bottom corners of your eyes, you can see the straps on the front, so you know you have it on. Yeah. which is cool because you can grab it and then pull it out and stuff. Yeah, this looks really cool so far. I actually can't wait to get into this. Do we know yep. how many people are going to be able to go in? Oh, man, there's a zombie. I know. That's <laughs> he was moving pretty quick, too. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. You, I don't know if you had volume up on this or do No, I, I turned it off because all okay. of our uh, the, I heard uh, mixer coming, isn't working right. like, last second and scared the crap out of me. That's the I best. Don't that's that's the best. Lost it, I'm I telling know. you, I truly think fear, anything that brings fear to you in virtual reality is one of the most immersive things because you totally forget that things aren't real. Like, you you know, and other things you have time to, to process, like maybe this sure. isn't really real, but in fear, like that emotion sets in and it's like all else goes out the window. And, it and to me, it's like nothing feels more immersive than when I'm scared in VR. Like that's, and it's so much more scary than anything else. Like, yeah, like, cause I don't get scared. I could watch a horror movie. Oh yeah, that's like play nothing. a horror game. I don't get scared, but in here, when yeah. you like hear something breathing over your corner and you look around and there's yeah. somebody right behind you, like, and you're not yeah. expecting that, like that scares the crap out of me. Like that I makes me jump. And he, and I haven't tried uh, uh face your fears too yet in the quest. That's another one I sure. do want to try, but I know uh, paradise decay tried it and uh, he did a video on it and he said it literally made him jump a couple times. I think Mame fan did a video on, uh, on that too. Yeah. You can check his out too. I was watching some of his and, uh, Fear's just, I mean, it's just a, a crazy thing in VR. It like, it's hard to explain until you try it. The bad thing about it is it's so hard to get anybody new to try something scary because sure. they don't want to be scared sure. either, and they're scared of it. But but for the people on the outside, that, that's the most fun to watch because oh, they're terrified, you know what I mean? And they too. scream. And so the people that do, are willing to try it, it's super fun to uh, So to for me about. in this game right here, like this part, there's a bunch of zombies in this garage that are locked up, but – I thought this was just the developer build and it was just this area, right? Right. So it must have spawned me randomly in this town. So I, when I was over at this one building, in the distance I could see like an orange light. And I realized that there's like a whole, this, this is a huge map, it's huge. Um, like probably standout size or if, in relative, you know, if somebody's yeah. played it. Uh, but I saw it and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go over there. So I started like booking and towards it, you know? And there was like a really cool like old gas station and like yeah, the lights awesome. on the neon sign were lit up and everything. But like here it looks a little dark. It wasn't as dark for me in the headset as right. it Right, it never is. Here. Yeah, it's yeah. harder to see on the screen usually in dark yeah. and low lighting than it is to see in the headset. Yeah, like right here now when it's dark, I actually picked up a hacksaw. And oh my you, goodness. Can, you can literally, the first time I swung it at somebody, it only cut his arm off. <laughs> That's and awesome. I'm like, oh man. So I'm like running backwards and I slice and I lobbed his head off. And he <laughs> dropped to the ground. I'm like, that was awesome. Oh man, so cool. So this game looks, I mean, it, it, I'm really excited for this. Do we, do we have any kind of release date? I don't think there's a, like any kind of um, for sure. Is it supposed to be this year? This, you know, I don't know. And I don't know. Maybe Jason's joined us in yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know if he's in here. I so, don't think I've seen him, but. Yeah, a lot of times he pops in randomly. Yeah. But um, I, I get him confused because I know he's shooting for for drop in for one and day to night. Yeah, Florida. I can't remember. I think day to night's release date is this year. That would be awesome. That. This looks really but there, good. There, you can see I saw that sign. Yeah. There's a town. That's a whole town, like a city down there. Oh yeah, I see that. Which is awesome because I'm like, holy crap! There's way more to this map than I thought. Yeah. You know? And you said this is going to be co-op, right? It is co-op even already right now. Oh man, that's so, like, we need to get into this. So funny thing about that, I was I was telling him about that. He gave us some developer like alpha, you know, test keys for us and everything. And uh, he said, you know, he gave us two, one for each of us. And he's like, that's the fact of it. It's more fun with two people, right. just like we always have, you know. Right. So funny thing about that, he actually was like, you know what? I'll actually give you two more codes for you guys to give out to everybody yep. because it's more fun to play with people. Yeah. So we actually do have two codes for you guys. So we are going to get, these are just like a beta key. It's not like yeah, a full it's, game it's a, key or yeah. anything like that. This is just this a, is not a, one to judge. It's for fun. If you guys yep. want to check out something new before it's out, yep, you this know, is just for the alpha. So we are going to give two of these away at some point in time. And maybe, uh, the winners, maybe the four of us could go in there together at some point because be I haven't even seen this yet. So that would be a lot of fun actually. And it's maybe, really cool. maybe we could live stream it or something too. I don't know. Yeah. But. And there was one point I went, I was in this little like town and you won't see it in here, but there was a whole herd. And I mean a herd of zombies that all saw me when I was walking by and all you hear is them like running and running at you and stuff. And I just booked it cause I didn't have a weapon. So oh, I'm just yeah, running from like 
15 zombies running at me. It was crazy. It was really cool, though. Yeah, it is, it's a lot of fun. It Definitely. Is. Yeah, I can't wait to check this out. I know. Yeah, this and drop-in. I'm super excited for drop-in, too. I really am. I just love the visuals of it. The visuals are awesome. Yeah, it's definitely like that. Uh, I don't know how you. I don't know what the name is for those visuals. Uh, I can never think of it, but like pixelate, like. Uh, yeah, kind of, but it's not really pixelated. It's, it's not, like a eight bit kind of yeah. you know, graphic kind of style. Yeah. So, Which I do like. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting more coffee. Are you doing this? Are you doing this right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to see who's paying attention. I know. You just so. like doing it. I love it in the button. It's so much fun. <laughs> I swear you want to be Oprah, man. <laughs> if I could give like, away oh, stuff oh. like Oprah, I totally would. I know. I'd be yeah, handing I... out valve indexes and rift S's and pie maxes to everybody. Man, it grips. Everyone gets grips. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do love these grips. So I'm excited for to give some of these away and see uh, some people's Me thoughts too. on them. But I know. I mean, they're really cool. I'm surprised we haven't seen anything like this before. Like, this is, I mean, it's a really good idea because a lot of people are excited about the way the Quest. I mean, the, I keep saying that the index controllers right. work. Right. It's. I just like the fact that the customization of it all, like you can change it and make it what you want. If you don't like the straps, don't buy them. Right. Like I like basics that you can add on to. That's yeah. kind of why I like what the index is doing, right. you know, with the developer options and all this they're talking about. So. Well, well, even for these controllers, though, like if you don't like the way the strap works, even right. just the cover itself, you know, it's going to keep your battery exactly. cover from coming off. You can still use your wrist strap. Yep. And it's going to give you more length and more texture to hold on to. So even if you don't want to run this strap, it's still a great add-on to your controller, I think. I mean, it's it still... I, I mean, and just the just the grippiness of it. You know I mean? It's just easier to hold on to. And for people with bigger hands, it makes a little bit bigger controller. Yep. When I put them on, that's the first way I used them. Yeah. I didn't put the straps on. I yeah, just tried the grips. And I'm like, what I like is it's interesting because, you know, everyone builds in, like, the pistol grips, like, you're, you know, where your fingers sit. But for whatever reason, this one, I feel like they where they wrap around, it's perfectly indented for your fingers, yeah. like individual fingers, which right. is really cool. What I'm really excited about is to try one of their gun stocks that use the magnetic from the top because oh, I feel like this gonna is going to – so for like throwing grenades and stuff, when you take your hand off the gun, you know, you pick a grenade up and you throw it, just right. like Index, it's going to feel so much more natural. The only problem yep. that I've run into is that I've trained myself so much – to never release to the controller. On. I only right. release my middle finger. So now it's like a whole new thing, which all of this really right now to me is a whole new training experience because I have to remember I can let go of the controller completely, which I'm not used to doing. When yep. I'm playing the quest, I have to remember that I can move all around, which I, and I don't get tangled up in wires, which, I, which I'm not used to doing. Usually I yeah, play right. and I try to just face the one direction and just move around some. I use a lot of snap turning and smooth locomotion. Yeah, so I'm so trained to do that. I get in the quest and I realize I'm barely moving. Like I have all this space now and I can move anywhere I want to move and I forget. Yeah, I know. You'll, you'll get out of it though. Yeah. It'll happen. It will. Somebody did grab that code too. Okay, nice. Who got that? Uh, oh, Fluke Rogi. Nice. He was, he, uh, he posted oh, his coffee mug in our uh, oh, yeah, cool. thing last that's week. So awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's super cool. Definitely let us know what you think. Like we said, it's a real early just test build, but I mean, yeah. it's really cool. It's really so, cool, I'm yeah. Yeah, and now. if you want to too, they're uh, they ha he has a Discord running too for his stuff. So if you have any like questions, yeah, any advice, something's not working. Yeah, we'll need to add. Him. Maybe we should add his link to his Discord, or we yeah. can put it in the video, or we can put it on our Discord. I'll too, put somewhere. it in the video description. Yeah. yeah. Just so he uh, also uh, he put this video out, which is really cool. So this is him using the pass through. Yeah. So this is Jason, one of the developers from that game we were just talking about. And this shows truly the next level and potential of the pass-through ability. So he made his walls, his boundaries, and you so can out see... Out of he, his room. Right. Yeah. So this goes out of his room and gives you a path... Down a hall. <laughs> ...to where he's trying to go. And then once he gets to the end, he pops through the barrier, which enables the pass-through, so he can see what he... Yep. And I'll, show, I'll let you see what he does. So it pops through. Oh, mini fridge. Like this is the, and I've never even thought of doing this. Like I, I didn't know, think about awesome. tracing boundaries down the hallway and stuff. So he's right. able to not even take his headset off, walk through the hallway, grab himself a beer out of the mini fridge, and walk back to his play space. Like I wonder this how is, high these walls extend. Can you go upstairs and stuff too? I know they okay. talked about on. Uh, I'll show that again on tested episode. They did do a test thing where they went like I think it was Jeremy had two sets of stairs in his house. 
Kind of right. like the old Full House episodes. You've ever watched that? I love Full yeah, yeah, House. Sure. I love yeah. Full House. But uh, so he had two staircases, and he would walk up the one and all the way back down the other one. And I don't remember if he was able to set his boundaries up like that, but he was able to do it. You know what I mean? Right. And it sure. would use pass through. So yep. there's That's a cool. yeah. So I mean, I haven't played with this enough yet to see, but I I saw this and I was like, this this is awesome. Like this is super cool to that be is. able to do that. You know? That is. So I thought that was really neat. It is awesome. It I just shows the capabilities of what oh, this, yeah. oh, this no, can do. But you can't do it. What's that? I was brainstorming. Oh, could you go like around something in the center, but you can't because you can only trace the proximity. So, so could... there is, Jason was telling us that there is a way, and I, he doesn't know if this has been taken down yet, right. but some way in developer settings, there's a test mode basically that'll allow things to pop into your space And so, like, if you're in your space and your dog walks in, like, right now, it doesn't recognize that dog walking in and pop up. But supposedly there is a way that they're testing stuff for that to happen. So I I look for that to probably become more of the norm down the road, and they'll probably enable that stuff for everybody. Sure. Yeah, they will. Or they're just playing with it, and if it doesn't work, they'll do (laughs) it. So Fantasy Film Production said, I'm going to do that when I get my coffee, which is a very good idea. Now we just need to find a way that makes it really easy to, to drink something in VR, which, I mean, I don't really know other than, a, you know, a bottle is decently easy to drink from, a straw, something like that. Yeah, maybe. I don't have two, yeah, bottles. Yeah. On the, on the weekends, maybe a bottle, glass bottle, something like yeah. that. Yeah, but it's hard with some cups because of the yeah. rim that hits the thing, so you have to kind of tilt your head, like, way back, and that makes it a little difficult. But I get it. I know. So, yeah, so somebody did mention MD Hawk IO3 said Pavlov Alpha is awesome on the quest, even though it's buggy at the moment. So that sure. is, that was confirmed. We are getting Pavlov on the quest. We're getting an official Pavlov on the quest. But right now they do have a build that you are able to sideload on your quest. And that's what, that's what he did. Yeah. And we haven't tried that yet. I'm sure we will, but yep. that is, so if you want to check out an early version of it, it is playable on the quest right now. Yep. So, uh, Luke cool. Raji grabbed that code, that last one. Oh, yeah, we already said that. You did? Yeah. No. He got the day to night code. Oh, nice. Yeah. So oh, that's cool. we'll definitely have to try I to get I in. guess I didn't see that. Yeah. We'll definitely have to try to get in there with him for sure. Yeah, I know. So that'll be cool. Yeah, I do. And I think we've <laughs> we've done this like every episode for the past couple of weeks. But again, Zero Caliber oh, has yeah. added another map to their <sighs> game. Great. So, I mean, they've literally right done now. one a week right now. Yeah. So, for the past two or three weeks, they have added a new map to their game. Every week. And last last week we talked about uh, the PvP. And we talked to the developers about it. And it is coming. They're very close. They're ready to start doing some testing. Yep. They just want to make sure it's perfect. They just want to make sure that it works really well before they release it to the public. It's going to be a free update. So if you have this game, you're going to get the PvP for, for free. They're not raising the price. They're not adding you know an additional charge or anything like that. And that's what we most look forward to is the PvP. Absolutely. Is. Absolutely. I'll be back in this game Yeah. 100%. I yeah. haven't went into this yet in the Rift S. That's another one I need to see because the visuals are very good in this game. I mean, the game is really good. They did a really yeah. good job on this game. Yes, they did. And PvP to me is just like that's that's gonna be the, the and for butter, how good the it looks. I feel like it's really well optimized too. Mm-hmm. I feel yeah, like I haven't, well. I, there were a couple glitches <laughs> right when it first came out, but but that was probably even back on beta when we were beta testing it before it was I'm really sure out. It was. Yeah. So this is another map. This map is called Hail. So the name of this map is Hail. It does look cool. That part right there is kind of like the intro, like where you start into the game, those two right. hangers. Yeah, so if you haven't played this, this is definitely worth picking up, especially if you got a Rift S. This is, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's going to look even better on the Rift S than it did in CV1. Oh, way better. Yeah. So definitely worth picking up. Yeah, I've been, I was in Contractors just to check it out inside. I think that was the first thing I went into in the Rift S, just because that's like what I know best. You know what I that's mean? That's one like, of the first ones I went into too. Yeah, <laughs> I just want. I, I, I love the visuals, anyways. I wanted to see them. Yeah. So, what does everybody do when they first get it? Do they go into like their favorite game? Do they try something new? You know what I mean? I don't know. For yeah. me, I just want to go into what I know best. So, I mean, maybe some people that's Beat Saber. You yeah, know? I just wanted to see the difference. I, I did put my wife in Beat Saber and the uh, Rift S, and that's the first time she played it. And uh, she noticed the comfort because she went into the Rift S right after the Quest, and she immediately said, this is super yeah. comfortable. <laughs> like, yeah. this is way more comfortable than the Quest. So that is pretty awesome. But, yeah, um, yeah so that is the headset strap from the one to put I on know that'd be sweet I actually tried also I tried my VR cover from my CB1 oh, yeah, I tried cool. that on the Quest to see if it would work and you could actually probably modify it it doesn't snap in because the top flange is a little bit different 
but I'm pretty sure you can modify it to make it fit if you wanted to do that. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that to the CV1. I still wanted to keep right. that on there. So. Oh yeah. It, sure. it would be possible, I think. But I'm definitely getting my VR cover in pretty soon. Hopefully, I'm super excited about that. I can't wait. So. And the, yeah. the other issue that I did have with the Rift S, and I haven't played with the Rift S enough yet, but when I was doing that first intro demo thing where you're setting up your controllers and all that stuff, I was having an issue with my grip button, and it wasn't like a physical issue on the controller. Like when I would grab something and I first noticed it because I went to hit the ping pong ball with the thing and I dropped the ping pong ball and it didn't drop. Like it stuck to my hand for a second and then it dropped. Hmm. So I don't know. I know some other people have had those issues and I know there's a couple things they're updating and software updates and all that stuff. So it's, it felt more like a software thing and not a button actual sticking, like phys- right. physical button like sticking. Button. Yeah. And I went into other stuff like contractors and stuff and I didn't notice anything. So I don't know if it was just that demo thing that i was having an issue with right. but i do need to go back into some other stuff and double and check, maybe the but... first couple times maybe it just needs a little usage maybe the internal is just sticking you know on the yeah, board it's and, just brand so. new yeah it so. could be i know i had problems mine on my cv1 because we would go so hard you know playing yeah. that i would actually my hands would sweat and then the buttons would actually stick on the grip mm-hmm. so i it wouldn't like let go or release the physical button even so you yeah. know i'd have to get in and clean them and everything so yeah yeah. I mean, stuff like that can happen too, but obviously it's brand new, so it's not that. Right, but. and they also did, Oculus said that, because they've had a lot of complaints so far about the audio of the Rift S, and uh, maybe the Quest too, but they said that they're going to be doing a software update to improve the audio, which I'm not sure uh, how that works. Yeah. I mean, I can understand maybe the levels, like they'll make them go a little bit louder and right. stuff, but I mean, you can't really change the fact that they're built in. Oh, the drivers built are built in. in it. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, so, yeah, so you there's only so much they're going to be able to do. They can change some of the sound waves and how they carry, maybe. Then, yeah, you know. maybe. I don't. I don't, I don't think a software update's going to make me grow physical over your headphones, though, because that's what I want. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm looking forward to. It's, it's coming, man. It's coming. Don't worry. It might might I'm, be Christmas, but it's coming. I'm surprised, honestly. I'm surprised that more third party companies weren't ready. Like, I'm surprised they weren't ready. Like, you know, right at the launch of these things, to have a product out. But it's hard because I don't. I mean, look how they didn't even have like the test headsets available to press even up until yeah what maybe like a month top i mean some developers have had them for a while but i guess they probably didn't send them out to third party like hardware companies and and honestly oculus is probably going to come out with their own stuff so they might not have wanted to push it out to too many people that were going to make add-on headphones because if they're going to come out with their own obviously they're yeah they have their own accessory page right on their website so you know they're trying to do their own stuff but they just don't no, they just don't get it out quick enough. Yeah. Not for the- so talking about zero caliber. Why is it that when we go silent? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's, I don't know. That's, that's a bad, a, shoe, that's a bad that's, sign. People would know. quicker than that. Yeah. Because I can see what he's doing. I know exactly what he's right, doing. Right, right. So you can see Tyler's <laughs> eyes like, whoa. <laughs> so, so this is another Steam code. This is for zero right, caliber. Right. So if you don't have zero caliber yet, and we just showed you that new map they came out with. Here's your chance to get Zero Caliber on Steam. An excellent, excellent game. So, yep. yep, super good game. I really do like it for demoing people that haven't tried it that want to see some gunplay. Yeah, for sure. Still a good go-to. Yeah, so like Greg's it. VR said the uh, the first steps grab button was laggy when throwing paper planes. So maybe it's not just me and that just that... Uh, Ah, could be that first Golden steps game. thing. That's the only place I noticed any issues. But like I said, I've spent more time in the quest so far this past couple of days than I have the rift, but I look forward to spending a lot more time with both of them. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out what games I actually want to buy because see, I own super hot. I own beat saver, you know, on the rift, but like that stuff, I'm probably going to pick up on the quest just yeah. because I mean, to show somebody now I did wonder, does the quest version have modding? Probably Beat not. Saber, not yes. I don't think it's officially supported, but I have seen some people Side loading. getting some stuff working. And I'm sure it'll come. I mean, really, that's what's made Beat Saber such a popular game. And such, oh, I mean, sure. a huge game is the modding community. And that's Same so, with Pavlov, man. Yeah, exactly. So Same I don't think. But Pavlov have said they're not going to have the workshop. So again, people are probably yeah. going to find some kind of workaround. And hopefully we get official support for that stuff because that does make the game. Oh bigger you know what i mean like the that, optimization though has to be so you know right constringent right, right. on the, the quest that i don't know yeah that's the hard part and you talk about yeah. super hot that is one that i'm going to pick up on the quest and people have said that have tried it on quest and uh pc vr that the quest version is like even better because they have added stuff to it you have all that yeah. freedom to move around 
Actually, I did pick that up. I already did get that. I haven't you played just it haven't yet. played it yet. Yeah, so I, I probably I, will get that. I mean, that's. I mean, to me, that's like one oh, of the things that shows yeah. off the quest potential so much. Oh yeah. And the the fact that the graphics aren't anything super intense. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It's able to like people say you can't even really tell a difference between PC VR and the Quest version. And all the diving and ducking in that game. Oh um, yeah. That's the one game I feel like I can actually run into stuff in my office. Yeah, for that sure. Game. Well, that's the one uh, my buddy was here playing, and he almost like broke through the tv stand i was like i had to keep telling him like hey you know try not to go too crazy you know so we'll with the test. quest if you had a really good play space that would be perfect i mean you can move yeah. all around that game is built for you know that it's really going to shine on a wireless system that you can oh. move all around so how about tracking for you have you had a lot of tracking issues with uh anything so, so far i don't know i'm a little I'm a little scared for gun stocks i'm still nervous about it because i I feel like, and I've tried it, I had a little bit of occlusion yeah. when it comes to, you know, lining stuff up. Now, the only workaround I feel like is, one, if you hold it farther away, it's not as bad. Two, if your your sights or your grips aren't exactly in line and you kind of rotate them, mm-hmm. that's going to solve it as well. But the bad thing with that is I feel like you have to have the built-in gun stock calibration inside the game to do that. Right, which Contractors so, does. And I did play, contract- like I was using my gun stock in, in Contractors. I, you know, I talked about having some issues with the controller staying in the cups and stuff, but I did use it. And the way it was set up right off the bat, that's how I tried to use it. And I, I had a little bit of issues, but it was it was doable. Like, I mean, if I held the gun in a certain area, every once in a while I could see right. it sway a little bit. And I did end up moving my cup a little bit farther forward. And that did seem to help. That definitely made an improvement. The only problem is, is that I've gotten so used to playing with it set up exactly how it's set up. So when you move anything like that, your muscle memory changes and you have to relearn it. That's the, my, that's my main issue right. with the whole sure. thing is it's going to take time to, to set them up to where they work better and then get used to that muscle memory. That's my only gripe. I agree. I get that. Yeah. And one thing, a lot of people have had issues with low light and stuff. And I saw... I believe it was Greg's VR on one of uh, maybe the Discord or something. He said that he picked up like a $10 infrared light, like IR light on Amazon. I saw that, And so basically you can play in low light. You just put on that IR illuminator and that allows the tracking to be able to be picked up if you don't have a ton of light in your room. Yeah, so I played Vader Immortal (laughs) and it was, you know, evening. It was, you know, I think the wife went up to bed and I was in the living room playing it, which Mm. was super cool. Never done that. And for my house i have everything set up on home automation like all these lights behind me and stuff they're all automated so at i think like i don't know 11 o'clock on a weeknight all my lights shut off in my living room and everything so i was out there playing and all of a sudden it was like my tracking was off and it's like step ahead move this way get in your space and it like didn't know where i was at and i was super confused because I never actually took the headset off, right. but all my lights had shut down. And you didn't Except realize it. One light, yeah. yeah. So it was still halfway working, but it wasn't working good, and I didn't even realize it. So. Yeah. Yeah, definitely low light's a hard thing for it. Yeah. For Did sure. anybody get this game code? I hadn't, I hadn't been watching. Um... I don't know either actually i don't either so conquer reality did say it'll only cost you about 800 dollars to get all the games on quest <laughs> which is probably true. yeah exactly which i don't have any money left so yeah fantasy phillips said are we having any problem with uh beat saber and selecting anything i didn't have any problems mm-hmm. um in the quest i didn't have an issue with it um maybe if you are just uninstall and redownload i try that i mean that's so i haven't seen anybody that got this code i don't know if anybody got this code if you did get this code go ahead and say something i'll pop it back down but yep. i don't want to pop it down until somebody got it but uh, one, another thing that a lot of people have been having issues with the Rift S is, I guess, you know, you're not using all these USBs anymore, but I guess it is super hungry on the USB that you are using. And a lot of uh, Windows computers will limit the, there's something that you can go and change where it limits the power to the USB throttles and bandwidth it. throttles yeah. it. So basically one of the first things you should try if you are having that issue is to go into the settings and you know, turn off the fact that windows can control that. Cause you want it right. to stay full power all the time. And that, that solved a lot of people's people's issues. Yeah. Yeah. I know that that changes a lot of things. And, I think you know, we might've had some issues with that back with first and season one. I can't remember. We had all, there was all kinds of issues we had, you know, mm-hmm. dealing with the beginning that people aren't even going to know that, you know, anybody yeah. went. That was days. a long time ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's, it's definitely easy now, but okay, so somebody little... got it. Somebody got the code. I don't know who it was. Sure. But, Yep, that's cool. Is that all the game codes we have, huh? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't even remember what all gave out now. Right? I know. That's sad. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we got more. Yeah, so let's see. What else? 
Um, look at some notes. What else we got? Yeah, I'm just seeing. So, oh, the PSVR stuff. Yeah, you were talking about that article that got listed on uh, Upload VR. Right. You know, yeah, they were trying to hype, you know, the new headset for PSVR and coming out on the PS5. I, I thought that article was, I don't know, a little bit of fluff, to say the least. I feel like they took a lot of stuff out of context. But it was definitely hype. It was, yeah, yeah. it was a hype so, article. So the headline of the article reads, PlayStation R&D headline, or head outlines next-gen VR headsets, increased resolution, wider field of view, HDR, wireless, and eye tracking. So I saw that and I was like, what? Like PSVR is going to have all of this? Like that is awesome, you know what I mean? And the more you read through it, it is kind of like, uh, this is the stuff yeah. that they're talking about that needs to happen for next generation. Right. He, they're asking him, trying to get something out of him. Right. And he's just saying that, yes, that needs to be for next gen or, yeah, a headset should be wireless, stuff like that. He's not confirming. He's not anything. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously, they're working towards all this stuff, I'm sure. I'm sure that's sure. their goal. You know, they're going to put as much stuff as they possibly can for a decent price point. Sure. And, I mean, Sony's definitely focused on VR. And, I, and honestly, if I'm really curious right. to see what their next gen headset is going to be. And I, I am definitely really going to be looking into picking that up i mean if because yeah. i mean the first generation was all, all old hardware that they made work on something that was never designed for and they did a great job i mean they, they did, did a really good job and they've been successful so i can't wait to see what it's going to be like on something that they're actually able to focus on and build stuff specifically for with a higher end machine being the next playstation and yep with the fast display exciting. outputs everything that can really yeah. handle i wonder what they are going to do for connections i'm curious about that are they going to go to DisplayPort, I wonder? I ever, it seems like everybody is going to the DisplayPort. I don't I know, know enough about the difference between the HDMI and the DisplayPort to know it, the benefits. It's just but faster. Is it faster? There's, yeah, there's more stuff. It's quicker. So, Handle higher stuff. Well, yeah. it's about time Paradise Decay joined us. <laughs> I brought the mug out like, just for him. <laughs> some, somebody slept in. <laughs> yeah, well, no, because he had that premiere out before we started. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, so check that out and definitely buy you some PD merchandise because it is awesome. Actually, I do have a request for Paradise Decay since he is here. Oh. My wife, at, I told you my wife's been trying to steal this mug from me already. My wife wanted to know if Paradise Decay would make one of these mugs in pink because that's what she wants. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I'm just saying my wife really it's wants possible. a pink Paradise Decay mug. So, so if he does put one out there, we will be watching for it. So he has the link in his... Uh, youtube videos and stuff so check that out and go to the link and check out his merchandise i i, I think she really loves the little the little character with the headset on like sure. i mean she's just a big fan so i think in pink it'd be cool and then maybe she won't steal mine anymore i don't know yeah right but, yeah hopefully well i probably won't steal hers because i don't know about drinking out of a pink paradise decay yeah. mug for me i mean it seems kind of weird but yeah but yeah, i love the, the cup but the other game you know we talked about it i don't know a week or two ago uh, that's actually on sale. It's a dollar off, but oh, yeah. it's still super cheap. Is the the tower, which I don't think at the time was even out yet. No, it wasn't out yet. Uh, but it's actually released now. I think it's like eight ninety nine. Uh, runs on you it's know on Rift Steam. S or Val. Yeah, anything. Yeah, it's on Steam. So, but it's it looks really cool, and I really want to try it with the the better res headset too. Yeah, I, it looks really good. I do want to try it. So for eight ninety nine, I probably will pick that up. And it's like yeah, an, it's like an amusement park kind of thing, but on another level. It looks like. The lighting is really good. You know, it's got a lot yeah. of cool effects and lighting and stuff like that. And I like the roller coaster stuff. I like doing that kind of stuff. And I like the fact that people like to try that when they first go in. It's easy because you <laughs> not like interaction. You have to try right. and teach somebody. It's kind of like, you can sit here's down, what VR yeah. is. Go. Like, yeah. And then, I mean, I think there's some different stuff in that, too. There's like a drop tower thing. And there's a bunch of other stuff. So for 8 99 I am curious to pick that up and... And Paradise Decay will probably have a video on that. Maybe I should wait right. to watch him. I mean, he, I don't know if he has any plans for that yet, but he does do videos on, like, every game out there. So I will look sure for that. Does. But, yeah. So, uh, Flem said DP is faster and locks into place. So. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, it, it definitely helps. I mean, that's it's going to be an issue, especially with those higher hertz. Uh, it's going to become a problem, <laughs> for sure. I was laughing a second ago because the wife is in chat and said, yes, pink, please. And her hashtag, her new hashtag that she's been using a whole bunch is hashtag VR wife life. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. So. That's awesome. <laughs> so we definitely need that Pink Paradise Decay mode. Right, I saying. know. We've actually been working on some stuff. Just, you know, we talked about it a long time ago when we started our show. Oh, like, yeah. we wanted to do that. 
Uh, so we've kind of been working on some things. Uh, maybe this week we can get it wrapped up. Maybe, uh, we'll, maybe good... we'll premiere our coffee mug on the next show or the show after that or something like that. There you that. go. Something know. like that. Yeah. So. Yep. so hopefully we have something by next week, maybe. Yeah. So that. Greg's VR said, I'd like real roller coasters in VR, not the fantasy stuff. So, and I don't know exactly sure. what this is going to be. I don't know if it'll be, I don't think it's going to be sim. It's but. not, yeah, it's not like, I don't know. It's not fantasy. It's not one where you're like flying through and like, it looks, it looks real to me. It looks like a Disney ride is what it would yeah. look like. So hopefully it'll be good. I definitely want to check it out. I think it does. I think it looks really cool. And for eight ninety nine, I mean, yeah. that's easy to pick up to try. And if you don't like it, send it back. I mean, so Paradise Decay said he did a video on Quest Coaster, not processed yet. Did you do one for the tower? Paradise Decay? I'm curious to see if he if he has one of those coming out or if he has one of those planned yet because he does play pretty much everything. Yeah, we so. if not, I mean, we should probably, probably throw one up. I don't, I've got too much stuff. Well, I guess I could. I've got some stuff in the works right yeah, now. Yeah, we too. should have a video coming out here pretty soon. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow on some yeah, cool I'm gonna stuff. Yeah, I'm going to try and wrap that up. I shot it last night, so hopefully I can get that yeah. wrapped up and put out there but yeah it's kind of a cool video it's nothing special but it's a really cool little hack it's a, it's a neat idea it's yeah it's a really good idea so yeah, definitely and yeah, yeah work. I'm, it I'm works. To it. i will say from experience because i did actually take it with something with me last night and it does work so nice super cool yeah that's super cool too and yeah, you didn't get cool. quiet this time well i was trying to do it while you were talking so that i didn't have to get quiet so i was already trying to be quiet so maybe it's a little more discreet i don't know but yeah maybe. yeah Yep, so that's awesome. That is the last one of that one, though. So whoever gets this one, that's the only two yep. we have for this game. And this is just, again, just a test build for you guys to go into a beta. It's not a finished product. Yeah, but if, cool if to check out. you guys want to hook up or something, too, uh, we're, we, we, I know I want to jump back in it, but is to get on there together and try this co-op with some people and stuff, too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I know he's really wanting to test like all that, too, the network and the playability and everything, just kind of figuring yeah. stuff. So Paradise Decay said he doesn't have the tower yet, so... He yeah. doesn't. He doesn't have one of those yet. He probably will I at some point. Yeah. So we'll probably pick that up. He's, I said. He said it's on his wish list. So. Yeah. And James yep. McLaughlin said, "I want a rendered reality mug." <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so do I. Yeah. <laughs> very soon. Very very soon. But I'll still have to mix it up. I probably can't use ours every time. Oh yeah. No. Uh-uh. Nope. I always try to mix it up, man. Yeah. Oh, oh. So. That's why I wanted, we want to show all the mugs and stuff. Yeah. Like, if anybody does pick up a Paradise Decay mug, definitely put it into our Discord, put a picture of it. And if we do end up getting a pink Paradise Decay mug, that will show up on our Discord because yeah, I'm awesome. sure we will order one. So. <laughs> yep, because I know For that sure. VR Wife Life will be posting it too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll probably be like all over the place. That's awesome. <laughs> I was trying to think if I have any other cool VR things that we've gotten received and for testing purposes that I can't talk about yet, but. We do have some stuff on the way. I don't know yeah. if we have anything else yet that we can really. I know. I was trying to think about that too. So did well, anybody get that other uh, day tonight? Oh, I'm sure. Greg's VR said epic post poker faces there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Speaking of, I haven't played Poker Stars. No, I downloaded it. I did download yeah, did it on the Quest. It? No, I haven't went in yet. Oh, my okay. my big issue with Poker Stars is I don't know how to play poker. <laughs> so, oh, so I'm going to try to get in there with Greg's VR. Maybe we both can try to get in there with Greg's VR. He, he does a lot of videos on Poker Stars, which I watch a lot of his videos, and it looks super fun. And I yeah. feel like that's just such a great game for like people that just want to sit and relax, even older yep. people that love to play poker that oh, can't yeah. get out. Like I feel like that's such a great platform for the quest you know what i mean i feel like that's a really good and there's so much cool stuff like you can like he drinks from his virtual coffee mug in there you can like smoke a cigar in there like there's all it's just really cool like i I do want to learn to play and i hope the developer of poker stars i hope they come out with some more games like some more things we can do i know i've talked about uno before i'm a big uno fan i would love some uno in vr so hopefully they do uh get some more of that stuff so oh no now everybody's putting vr wife life hashtag (laughs) (laughs) So I think Penji said she doesn't know how to tag somebody. And if you're in chat, you mean you just hit the at button and then type their name. If you're on a mobile phone, you actually have to type it all out. Yeah, and you, you have to make sure the punctuation, I mean, not the punctuation, the capitalization is the same or it doesn't that's show up. I wish on mobile they did that because it's so hard to like quickly yeah. like talk to people on mobile because that's where I've watched most of my stuff. Right, me too. And a lot of times you get typos and then it doesn't pop up and give the person the notification right. On the PC, right. usually it'll you'll start to type it in and it'll give you, and then you can actually just click it. So, But yeah. that is how you do it. Just hit at and then type the person's name. Yeah, it is. So, such a, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Uh, okay, so Avery Gardner did snag that one. So let us know. Nice. Hit us up. We will try to get the four of us. And that would be me, you... 
I think Fluke Rogi and Avery Gardner. So we will try so, to get in there. Actually, uh, Jason said he would love to join us in there. So too, there you so go. We can do five check. people. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many people it supports at the moment. I'm yeah, not I don't sure. know. I don't know about that. Um, I know they have, you know, single player, co op, and multiplayer. I'm assuming he's got that built into it even already. Now, maybe not on both of them. I think he has a survival mode and then he has like a deathmatch mode. So I don't know how they're split up. Right. But, but so, yeah. So Penji said Uno, which. Definitely Uno. So yep. if you can write an Uno song and we can get that to the, the I don't even know who oh, owns geez. like who owns the game Uno. It's probably like probably Mil- Milton, Milton Bradley, Bradley or something like that. Yeah, yeah I'm I sure. Think so. But yeah. I mean that would be epic. Like I know we talked about it before, but we used to play it on Xbox. Like so I know I it's know. possible. It was so, I mean so hopefully the uh, at least the Poker Stars guys hopefully they can get some more some more game modes and stuff because they they I, I think they're on to something there. I definitely think they're on to something with that. I was thinking wasn't there another? I'm just kind of looking real quick. Wasn't there another game coming out that was like a like a sitting game like that, a card game? I don't know. I'm sure there is, but I don't know to be honest. Yeah, I know. There's always there's so much stuff in the works right now too. Yeah, I mean this is a great time to get into VR because there's stuff coming yeah, out all the time. We have so many good games coming out this year. A lot of good hardware that's already came out that is coming out. You know, we still yep. are waiting to see more about the the Vive Cosmos. You know what LG's been up to? Like, who oh, knows? this was the game I wanted to talk to you about. So, have you seen much on Failspace? Failspace. I know this sounds familiar, but I don't. So it, you can look that, it up. Did that one just come out? Um, I don't, it's not out yet. Uh, but what it is, is it reminds me a lot of, uh, uh, what's the sp- space one that we played a lot of, um, Halo? No, 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 no in VR. Um, space ops. No, early multiplayer co-op. Oh, oh, oh from other sons, from other sons. From other sons. Yeah. Great game. So great game. It reminds me a lot of that, but what you're doing is instead of like bouncing around to ships and flying it around, you actually have like a. I want to call it like a freight liner, or like you're hauling stuff, right? Okay. Like cargo and like stuff starts to go wrong and you're getting attacked. And it looks like you can play like four player co-op and you have to like keep the ship going and like fires and stuff. And you have to like do a bunch of things. It looks really interactive, yeah. like really interactive. Um, but let me see. I don't know when the release date oh. is. For yeah, the, Greg's VR said the drop in dev is called Uno. That is his name on. Uh, oh, yeah. that is his name on Discord. His name yeah. on Discord is Uno. But I mean the game, the actual like physical card game. Yeah, I think I said something to Greg's VR one time about we need Uno, like talking about Poker Stars, and he's like, "What is that?" Like he didn't even know what yeah. Uno was, and I was like, "What?" Maybe yep. it's just a U.S. thing. I don't know. Maybe Uno yeah. isn't as popular in other countries. I'm not sure. So the release date for that just says to be announced. So there isn't actually an official. Release. Okay. Still, it does look really cool. So have you seen this thing called 1111? You were telling me about it. No, I have not. I, I don't really know anything about it. It's, I'm pretty sure it's not like an actual game. It's like an actual experience. And right. it just came out recently, but it's getting really good reviews. So well, I guess it only has a couple of reviews, but they're all positive. So we huh. might have to check that out. But it's some kind of like... Uh, I have. So there's six main characters as they count down the final 11 minutes, 11 seconds before all life is extinguished on... The island planet of Kairos, Linnea. Their only guarantee for survival is a transport ship that will launch just before the click. The clock hits zero, taking whoever can get on board to safety on a floating ark in the sky. Hmm. So it says over 90 minutes of content. It's only $12.99 right now. It's on sale. but Interesting. So I don't know a lot about it. I haven't looked into a lot about it. But it looks kind of cool, and I'm just curious because the reviews are so good. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Yeah, so the that's kind of interesting. Did you see the uh, quarterback game? Have you seen that one yet? Where no. you're playing football and you're throwing the ball and stuff? Uh, I haven't seen that. It doesn't look bad. It's, no? it's a to-be-released. It's only single-player, though. Yeah. Which, if that was multiplayer, well, it might Yeah, be that fun. would be cool. We need that on Quest. We could be in a legitimate football field, and we can play football. Right? We can oh, throw it, and you'd actually have to run to go get That'd be crazy. Somebody did imagine. a Somebody did a video. Oh, they were playing Apex. That's what yeah, I think it was the Apex devs. They were going to do a video on a football Apex. field. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, I get it. I mean, that's fun. True yeah. that. See, Node. I haven't played Node yet. I know. Um, is that Earth, out? No, it's not out yet, but oh, okay. uh, July 22nd. Oh, there's still eight weeks to that. I'm surprised nice. it's actually that far out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious when we're going to start getting some new releases for Quest. I mean, it should be coming up here pretty soon. I don't know if it's going to be a week or three weeks. Like, how long I... it's going to take before we actually start getting some new stuff released for Quest. Yeah, hopefully soon, but I feel like if people weren't trying to shoot for the release, then yeah. then it's just going to get... But I'm sure there were people that were close to hitting the release, and they just couldn't sure. quite get it finished, so I'm sure there's stuff that's going to be coming pretty soon, but Greg's VR said, never heard of Uno here in the UK, so I guess oh. it's 
Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought that was kind of a worldwide thing, but I guess not. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. See, that goes back to my childhood. Oh, yeah, I used to play Uno. I still play Uno quite a bit. Yeah, that's crazy. That's one of my favorite card games. So, what else we have? That's what I was just looking at. Pavlov. I do have to sideload Pavlov after this. I'm curious yeah. to know how hard that is to sideload to the quest. Or it, I think it looks to be just about the same as the Go. I think. Yeah, the side loading, I believe, is pretty much the same. You have to turn on yeah. developer mode in yep. your quest to be able to put it on there and uh, download some stuff. And it, it's not very hard. You can probably do it in, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I don't think so. so and, the other uh, curious thing I want to know is, you know, from all these sales from the quest and the Rift S, I want to know numbers. I, I really want to know numbers so bad. I don't think bad. they'll tell us. They haven't even told us numbers with CB1. Like, they're super quiet about that, which That's I would true. love to know. Even the fact of how many headsets they had you know, shipped out. Like, is Rift S really selling that good in Best Buy, or is it just because they didn't have as many shipments as they did to Quest, you know? Okay. And I believe, uh, and somebody, maybe Paradise Decay, said that uh, the the Quest has beaten the Nintendo, uh, some oh, of the Nintendo on stuff on Amazon. Yeah, it's like number oh. one seller right now. So I, I'm pretty sure it's selling pretty good. And I mean, if you see, like, in the forums and stuff, like on Reddit and stuff, like, stuff gets posted, like, boom 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 i mean there's just so much activity right now so there is a lot more people i mean you see in some of the videos and stuff you're starting to get more views like so yep. i think it's definitely growing there are more people getting into vr right now than we've probably seen you know in the past so it's kind of just something on that i was i was doing some yard work and stuff i think it was yesterday with your and my neighbor on? right yeah on power <laughs> yeah dude we, there should be a program that you could put in you trace your whole yard virtual you, you, mowing yeah. yeah you get on your lawnmower and it's yeah, like I'm, you're doing right mario idea, kart so. a mario kart on your lawnmower or something there's like somebody needs to running do that over in the yard oh, dude though. that would be awesome that would be awesome that'd be so cool <laughs> so, i was out doing yard work and my neighbor comes over and he's my age and you know he saw i let him try my vr headset probably two years ago and he always wanted it but he's like i you know, I'm not going to invest in all that right. too much. So I was telling him about it, like, oh, these new headsets just dropped and stuff. And I told him how much it was. And he's like, you mean that's everything? Like, yep. the controllers and the headset. I don't mm -hmm. need to buy cameras. I don't have to set stuff up. Computer, nothing. nothing. So he walked back, and he was, like, sitting on the porch and thinking about it. And I come back around, and I'm picking some stuff up in the front yard. He comes over, and he's like, it'll be here in two days. Ordered it on Amazon. Oh, nice. Like, you didn't tell me that. I didn't know there that. There you go. Just that quick. You yeah. Know? But it's such an easy perk. It's not easy, you know, for everybody, but at that price, yeah, it's not it's like a big investment, a big, yeah. Yeah. It comes with the glass. He wears glasses and that was always a problem. Glasses spacer comes with yep, that. Exactly. So I'm like, man, it's so <laughs> super easy. Conquer to reality said the lawnmower man. <laughs> right? no. And, and, uh, if I saw this right, paradise decay said pink mug added. So anybody that wants to get their pink mug, it is available now. Make sure anybody that gets that, they got to put pictures in the Discord. Make sure you put pictures in the Discord of any of your coffee mugs, especially right. a pink. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Maybe, I want to know, maybe how, I'll do I wanna know how many he sells in the next like hour. Is it going to be one going yeah. to your wife or is it going to be like 10? You know? I know for sure. That's awesome. Maybe I'll have to use the pink cup on the show. Maybe yeah. I'll confuse people. And I'll just have both of them sitting on the desk, and then I'll pick up the regular okay. one, and then the next time, and they're like, how's your mug changing colors? Maybe we'll just mess with people. Like, what are you talking about? It's been yeah. the same color the whole time. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. I do, I do need to get into some of these headsets. So, what, so like, out of, like, anybody in chat that has played the Quest and played some games, what is your favorite game so far? Because yeah. I'm really looking. Now I might have some time with my dad being home and stuff. Yeah, that I'm really going to pick some stuff bit. up. Yeah, so what is your guys' like number one to pick up? Yeah. I do have Vader Immortal because I mean that's that's a must. That's if you don't have bucks, it, buy yeah, it. That's yeah, for sure. Amazing. Um, and I did pick up Super Hot and I grabbed like I grabbed the free demo, it, which a lot of people don't realize too. They kinda advertise it before. There are a lot of free demos on there, yeah, but so they're not the... listed on the store hardly. It's yeah, crazy. they're in, they're already loaded on the headset. But you get uh the the boxing game, Creed Rise of Glory. Creed. Yep. There's uh that Journey Beat of the Saber. Gods. Journey of the Gods. Yep. I can't remember. Beat what Saber has now. one one song. Yeah. But I but mean still it's good to try it out. I mean that if you oh, if yeah. you haven't played it before, at least try that out and you can decide, you know, if you want to order it. But yeah, so there's a couple different ones that are on there that you can try for free. Yeah. So somebody posted uh uh on Reddit that it was kind of funny. They were trying to get PayPal donations because they said that 
their parents just bought them a quest and they don't have any money for games and everybody yeah. was like you know obviously when people post that stuff they're like we'll get a job you know stuff like that right. and i put on there i said unfortunately right now you know we're all kind of broke because we all just spent a ton of money on all this hardware i said but luckily there's already a lot of free stuff you can do like you don't yep. have to buy something right away i said you know you got rec room that's free you got yep. uh you've been playing rec room for hours if you've never played right you got poker stars poker stars is free yep. you got all the free demos you know i can't even remember what all there was on there there was a bunch i mean you could spend a ton of time in there for free so there is a bunch yeah. i mean if you don't have any money for games yet just play the free stuff and save up some money and you'll you'll get there absolutely but. now i haven't actually tried do they still have the same return policy on the quest i'm sure i they believe do. so yeah i'm okay, not sure yeah. but i believe so and there's so, also youtube vr for free so you can watch our 180 videos that's true. You can uh -huh. watch us. You, somebody could be watching us inside the uh, quest right now too. Yeah, we have talked about. Some people have said, you know, we need to do one of these episodes in the in the VR 180 mode. Sure. And uh, I don't know if we can live stream two things to the channel at the same time. Probably not. But what I could do is I could set it up and we could record it, and then upload it afterwards i just don't know how that would work like if i should i set it up on my desk and you guys can tell us in the comments and chat some of you probably have more experience with the vr 180 stuff than i do but like what i because i don't want to have it like over here in the background it's like that's no fun they don't feel just, like they're part of it at you all you don't want it too close there's gonna be right a there's that, that you need to be right. that your focal distance so you're gonna need to be about at least two feet away yeah um, so i mean so, i could kind of set it over here and you know they sure. would be part of seeing what's going on here yep that so would i might do that close. the only other bad thing is the battery only lasts about an hour so I should be able to put it on a battery bank and keep it running. I don't know if it would be able to record the whole show. I mean, sometimes we go an hour and a half, two hours. I mean, it uses it a lot of memory, too, on a memory card. So I don't know if we could get the whole episode, but we could Why? do a little bit Doesn't of stuff. Doesn't that do live streaming? Couldn't you it just does do live, live streaming. Yeah, but Why that's what I'm saying. Stream it and that records it in itself. You could live stream it to my personal channel or yours and just, just move and it push over. the link out. Yeah. Yeah, we could do something like that. So maybe we'll mess around with it. people. I mean, I don't know how interested people are in watching this stuff. You know, I don't with think the... people have experienced true VR recordings. Like right. unless you go into the apps and stuff inside of Quest, nobody's experienced that. And even like yeah. Google Cardboard doesn't do it justice. You right. Know, so, like but that. I mean, it looks pretty good in Quest. Like I've went into some of the 180 stuff, some of the yeah. different stuff, and it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not real visuals like what you see in real life but it's decent i mean it looks pretty oh, good cool. so and it, it just gives you depth yeah yeah and i did the video of that uh the um the inn at forest oaks that we were at and that was the first time i'd ever used it and that yeah. turned out pretty good i mean it was it, pretty was cool, super cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool to watch recording like 360 or 180 yeah i've never done any job. of that like so. your height was right and everything your placement was good it was all yeah it the only fun. bad thing was i i didn't have a good tripod at that point in time a good monopod yeah. so you could see the legs a little bit if you look for it but it wasn't yeah. you know it's not too big of a deal but yeah, I was just so. looking to see what people were saying for game recommendations. Oh, Tilt Brush. I have not tried that yet. Tilt yeah. Brush on Quest. Moss. I, I, I keep looking at Moss, and I really am debating picking that up. You know, I don't – and not even just for myself. I'd love for my wife to try something, too, like that, where you're That's, not, yeah. like, you know, in full VR, like, walking right. around, make you motion sick, because she can get a little bit of that. Yep. Um, Beats her. Face Your Fears too. Yeah. Super Hot. I did pick that up. Robo Recall. have it. Yeah. Beautiful. What did you think about Robo Recall compared to Orbis? You know, some people, uh, some people love Orbis. Yeah, I haven't tried that. I don't know. I don't get into the whole like spell casting thing. Just for me, it, it does look cool. I like the MMO like type games, so yeah, I do like cool. that. But I don't know. I just can't get into them. I guess I do like exploring, scavenging stuff like that. So I might. Yeah. Uh, beat. I haven't got to play it yet. I did put my dad in it. I played it on the go. I liked it on the go. So I, yeah. I haven't played it yet. I downloaded it on the Quest, but I haven't played it yep. yet. And that's another. Oh. Is that one free? That one's free too, yeah, isn't it? So that's yep. another free game that you can get. If you I mean. don't, yeah, that's there's so okay. much good stuff right now for right. free. Now, anybody that. See, I have Robo Recall because I have it on the uh, Rip. But right, yeah, I got that people too. that buy it, do they have to pay for it? They get a quest and that's their first headset? They yep. have to pay for it, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. it's not a free game anymore. I, we wondered that. You know, we yeah. wondered it back you know, a while ago if that was yeah. going to be free or not. Um, so Paradise K said Ultra Wings. Now, I have Ultra yeah. Wings for the Go. That's that's what stinks is there was no cross-buy between Go and that Quest, which I would me. have. Yeah, because I, I did play that on the Go. I didn't play it on PC VR. I played it on the Go. I know. That really frustrated me that it yeah. wasn't cross-buy. Because I looked at it, and it said, like, fourteen yeah. ninety nine. I'm like, what do you mean? I already, I already have, have that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's a little frustrating. Another one, too, that I don't know if a lot of people really know what it is. It's called Wonder. It's W-A-N-D-E-R. Oh, yeah. And that is pretty similar to google earth so we don't have google earth on the quest but if you would like that it doesn't have all the features of google earth but it's still really good i enjoyed it i mean you can you know go all around you can see street view and all that other stuff so that i think that's like 10 bucks so that is a good one if you haven't experienced google earth and you want that kind of experience on your quest that is a good a good pickup sure. i think yeah 
So, okay. and some so people I'm... did say they're watching this in their quest right now. Seriously. Yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. That's so, sweet. Yeah. It's awesome that you can have Daniel Moore like, said that better, like, good knows. enough, gra- like a uh, no non-screen door, you know, high enough resolution that it's actually viable now to watch things in right. there really well yeah. and not just feel like gimmicky. You know, I felt right. like maybe before on the rift or something, you know, to sit and watch something. Cause when it's stagnant, you know, like, the text down under here like might be a little out of focus or blurry just because of the, you know, right. pixelation. Yeah. And lefty 007 said image quality in the 3d came was good. So, and I was pretty impressed with that. I mean, it records in 5.7 K and right. it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's only 30 frames per second, but you're not doing anything moving real crazy fast or anything. And I haven't done, I, I plan on doing some testing with moving the camera. It does have some image stabilization and stuff. Everything I've done so far was just on a tripod. I know it can get kind of weird, moving around but i do want to try some moving around stuff and see sure. see how it you know conveys to inside the headset but yeah but it's fun i love the camera i really want to take it everywhere so i want to hit something on the quest real quick so okay. when i when i took my quest and this was just the last night night before when i took it to the hospital right um what i wanted to do because he had never been in vr i wanted to be able to stream it to my phone to help him right right simple thing you should be able to do I could not get it to work outside of my own Wi-Fi network. I could I could not get it. And I tried and I tried and tried. Did you have Wi-Fi at the hospital? Were you on Wi-Fi? No. See, I, I think that had, might be the issue. So, I know. So wh- I wonder why you can't do direct Wi-Fi to the headset from your phone. Yeah. I, I feel know. like that's a necessity because, you know, if you're outside or there at a hospital, if they had Wi-Fi, I could be on, on my phone, but you have to do like the login. So like at a hotel room, where you have to log right. in and say your room number and all that. You can't really do that on the headset. You can't on your phone. Um, yeah, it gets so tricky. I, and hopefully that'll yeah. get better. Hopefully. I think so. But it was, it sucked because like the first time I wanted to take it somewhere and be out like with it. Yeah. And I went to show somebody, I couldn't use that. And, and it I makes really, it really hard. If you can't see what they're seeing to try to help them yeah. and tell them what to do, what to grab, how to start. You know I mean? It's really hard because you're like, well, what do you see? Like, tell me what you see. And they're like, I see so I much stuff. I don't even know what to tell you. You know what I mean? The only so, way I did it is in the main menu to get him to go into what I would like bait to show him. Right. I told him, I'm like, okay, tell me where I'm pointing to. And I could, I would just go up and he would say up to the right. And then I'd right. go to it. And I'd pull the trigger, but you know, it's, that's such a pain. I could have just yeah. looked at it. So like, Oh no, grab that. I'll do that. Yeah. You know? And hopefully that stuff will improve. I do need to try it with the TV. I need to get like the Chromecast thing and uh, stuff yep, like that. Got, I think that, yeah. cause you can use that on the computer too, right? You can plug that Chromecast into the computer. I'm guessing. No, I don't know. I've never actually yeah, tried. I've never, I don't know, but right. so yeah, I haven't tried that. Um, so what about this whole, uh, streaming steam games to the quest? Yeah. I, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried I know. it, but people are doing it. You're not going to get the same kind of quality because you got to have a really good, you know, Wi-Fi right. connection and all that, but people are doing it. Now I do have a really fast, a really fast router, so that'll help. But, yeah. but so. I still, I mean, even we'll, running on 5g, I we'll mean, probably play around with it. Oh yeah. And let some yeah. people know, but how, yeah, long, pretty- how long have we been going now? We've been going almost two hours, so. I think we should yeah. probably wrap this up, but how many people have stayed? So we got a lot of people that have stayed here still. So right up to the very end. So yeah, that's awesome. I yeah, mean, we really appreciate that. We got to do something for those people, right? Yep. I mean, they gonna, stayed all the way at the end. I know that's awesome. So I that's... mean, this is for standout. This is for standout on the Oculus Store. So this is an Oculus Store code. So if you didn't get the first one, this is the second one here. Yep. And make yeah. sure you hit up our Discord. We're going to yeah. push out some really cool giveaways. We're going to give out the grips, yep. which is super cool. Yep. So we're giving uh, those out on Discord and the Gleam. Yep. So you can enter the Gleam. The link's in here. We'll, we'll put. I think the link is in the Discord, too. I think I added it. Yeah, yeah. so it should be in there. So definitely, uh, yeah. So Yeah, definitely have some more giveaways, too. Yeah, so hopefully uh, somebody got that. But I oh, think yeah. that's pretty much going to wrap up for today. We should be back again next Saturday at 10 a.m. Oh, so. Absolutely. Definitely yep. stay tuned. And Definitely I'm gonna hit the Discord. Out, I'm going to try and push out that new video to you guys, yeah, too. Yeah, so, so keep an eye out for that. Go ahead and subscribe to yep. the channel if you haven't yet. You know, hit the like button, the dislike button, whatever, you've, whatever you're feeling. And uh, watch for that video to come out because so, it's pretty can cool. We get, can we get one more sub to pop up, like, right here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, awesome. one more at the end. That's super cool. I can, we get super excited when that happens. Yeah. We really appreciate it, you guys. Yeah, you know, we really just, do. Yeah, it's why we keep the content coming. Yeah, we love that you guys come and join us. So yep. We will definitely be back. Keep an eye out for some videos coming up. Hit the like button. Come back next Saturday, and we'll see uh, We'll see what all we got going on. So Yeah, I think we're going to put on some headsets maybe and play. Yeah, levels. for sure. Do I it, need to so. get into some stuff a little bit. but I know. Yep. All right, so all right, awesome, guys. guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being yep. here. We will see you next time. Yep, and we will see you in VR. That's right. Later, see guys. You.